Each and every day. It is Friday. I know I've been in, involved in this week a little more than I should be. <laughs> Fam, you do it on this Friday. You ready for the weekend? Thinking nothing but good thoughts as we head toward the draft. April 25th, the 49ers will become even more potent than they were last year at this time. That will wrap it all together as we head into OTAs, get everybody ready to roll, and kick some NFL booty. You know, let's go say something else, didn't you? <laughs> hey, action on the day, right? Raheem Mostert and the 49ers have agreed upon a new three-year deal that will keep him with the team through to Jorge, I know, I know you like that one. I knew you liked that one. 2021, according to his agent, Brett Tesler, the original plan was to gauge market interest in Mostert, which, according to Tesler, was very strong. Why would we be surprised, right? right. Other teams had a, until April 19th to make Mostert an offer, which the 49ers would have had the option of matching. So that's probably what they would check it out. Tesser added that his client wanted to continue building on what he started with the 49ers. Boy, and according to Coach Kyle Shanahan, quote, we went into the gear just with Raheem mainly as a special teams guy. The games that he played in where he got to go at running back, he did a hell of a job. <laughs> Dave, boy. I became such a huge he You know, the first couple of times when he followed the ball, I said, oh, come on, hey, man. All of a sudden, I don't know what happened to him. He must have went to, he woke up one morning and says, fumbling's over. I'm coming to kick some serious butt. And boy, <laughs> good time and do him. The Raiders killing him was tearing Oakland up until a broken arm took him out of what may have been a record set performance. He was running through Raiders like they was nothing but paper. <laughs> him, and Black, remember him and Mike McGlinchey running downfield. But Glitchy. <laughs> Raheem just pretty boy running behind his big bad dog in front of him. Found an opening. Zoom! Touchdown! Niners beat them Raiders. Boy, Raiders, boy, who's the king of the bay now? Boy, y'all can't even say that now. You can run that dumb nation side all you want to. It ain't hurt nobody. Whew, I get it. The Ra Raiders bring them. Boy, the Raiders bring a stupid out of a dude, don't uh, it was On the short season, Mostert finished 2018 with a career high of 261 rushing yards on only 34 carries. 7.7 7 yards per carry was that with, with that average with a touchdown while adding six catches for 25 receiving yards through nine games. But it has announced that they've also signed Mark, Z Mark Z Ziocha. You know, somehow that name does not sound German to me, though. But uh, to a three-year deal, uh, Ziocha visited with Buffalo, the Buffalo Bills on Thursday. <laughs> he said, let me get the hell up out of here. I'm going back to San Francisco. Thanks, guys. <laughs> he headed back to Santa Clara immediately with the intention of re-signing with the 49ers. And that, according to a report from NBC Sports Bay Area, the home of Matt Mayoko. And Joe just spent three seasons in Dallas before signing with the Niners on September uh, of 2017. He appeared in 10 games and Recorded four special teams tackles during his first year with the Niners, but uh, re recorded 22 combined tackles and a sack and a forced fumble last year while primarily serving as a special teams contributor for most of the year until they finally figured out that Malcolm Smith can't play any football in 2018. And now they're going to try to force that issue again. Boy, Malcolm Smith, you come dragging butt in here this year. I tell you what, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, because we're going to draft the linebacker. I got a feeling, boy. I really do. All right. He did our start three games. Let me get back to this Uh He did start three games this past season, include, uh, including two of the final four. And, uh, oh, you know, I, I, I really enjoyed Cassius Marsh. I mean, I really, the 49ers said goodbye to Cassius uh, today. Cassius registered 38 combined tackles and a 5.5 sacks. Uh, that happened all through 16 games and three starts for the 49ers in 2018. Uh, oh, you know, I'm going to tell you, man, I'm a, them high-flying kicks, I just get a rush out of that kick. Cash just get that tackle. And then, and then you have those people, the evil people, that's the best thing he does, them kicks. Marshall's putting on pressure, but you know, the thing is, 
the Forty ers are making room, as you probably figured out, right? Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna bring in somebody, and I got a feeling. And, and, and to show's delight, I do have the feeling that the Forty ers are going to bring in an OLB. And who is the best L O? If you look at the OLB registration, not D E, D E. Both are still the number one DE to be had, but the number one OLB, eh, his name is Allen. So, you know, and you know what? I got one more thing I want to touch upon real quick that I, I got such a rush off of. Have you thought about the combination of Quan Alexander and Fred Warner? Baldinger did. Baldy busted it down, boy. Hey, you get a chance. I, I, you know, 49ers web zone, man. <laughs> If you if you are watching uh, Brian Baldinger's uh, breakdowns, anyway, you should be. But the dude breaks it down, and, 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 and he's just got that style. Baldinger says he knows how to find the ball. He writes within the, his tweet while predicting the Alexander and Fred Warner combo to combine for two hundred tackles. Oh, 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 if the rest of them can get some work done, shh, man, records Forty Nine may set a record this year of tackles and taking people down. Now, see that bodes well. If people are going down like like crazy, that probably means the defense really will finally become all gas, no breaks. Trez, I hate to disappoint you, but if them dogs get loose, if the chain breaks on the neck and they go running into that yard, anybody into that yard, it's going to be like jumping over the fence of a junkyard. Oh, they go get hurt. I got D. Ford coming off of one side. I may have between Bosa and Allen. It don't matter. Both of them. I mean, I got I got Dobermans backing them up. I got the Pit Bulls and German Shepherds up in front. But I'm talking dogs all over the field. And who knows? DeForest Buckner, they may be starting to say things in the crowd like, Release the Kraken! Oh, man. <laughs> Here's Steve Ford coming to the side. I got my big head coming around the other side. I haven't decided that yet. And now, the offensive line. Hey, no, 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 no. You cannot double team now. If you do, you're dead. You double team Bosa. Whoa, what a mistake. You double team D. Whoa, what a mistake. And now, them gaps that have been, have been exploited by teams. Here comes the kill machines, Warner and <laughs> Alexander. Oh, I do love the way this defense is coming together. Oh, man, because the last season of the 49ers, I'm going to bad ball. The fewest takeaways in a single season with seven. That is so sorry. It's unbelievable. The previous record, 11, was set by the Baltimore Colts during 1982 and later tied by three teams, Houston Texans. In 2013, the Dallas Cowboys in 2015, and the Bears in 2016. The 49ers defense finished the year with just two INTs. Just, <laughs> oh my God. Ah, uh, that ball goes out last year. The 49ers couldn't take the ball away. They were the worst in the league. You've got to start forcing fumbles and getting tip balls and INTs. Alexander gives you some of that heat. He's, he's a good blitzer, and I like the way Baldy says, and he gives you a little bit of that. When he does get there, he gives you that little bit of something, something. <laughs> Bam! Give up the ball! Oh, I forgot where I was. <clears throat> okay. Settle down now, and let's get to see what you got to say in here. Peter Gorman says all the big-name players went to the AFC. Better for us <laughs> with all that money. 49 for life, red and gold. What's up? James Harold Bright, we better not trade Matt Breda for Nelson. That is that a rumor? Nelson Aguilar? Because I knew I know the Eagles are trading or looking to get rid of Nelson. Okay, that is disturbing. Okay, if you're gonna trade for a wide receiver, do better than that. Alcohol, alcohol we we he can't even beat out Dante Pettis, honestly. Uh, no. Well, not to say that Dante's a bag of chips, but I mean, who's he going to play by? Was he depth? No. You don't trade Matt Brader for depth. Jay Ross, I remember fools think Joe Williams was better than Brader. 
you know, Jay Williams, I mean, Jay, Jay Run, you know, you got to realize, Williams came in as the glory boy. He was a golden child. That dude was in, at, at, at Utah, man. He was, Will was badass, man. So it's easy, it, it was an understandable mistake. Coco Smooth says, Bulls is a generational talent. He's being, I know. <laughs> I do want him, but I'm trying not to get my hopes up. I still think. Uh, Elias, Elias Lopez, I'm ready for next season to kick some NFL butt. Warner Daily, this is Abraham, we'll shout out to you, from Spokane, Washington. And what do you think about getting it right in? Uh, out of Oakland, he didn't sign with Oakland. Uh, who is the right in? Right in. Are you talking about Irving? KJ, oh no, K, hey, somebody went back to Seattle for a short deal. Anyway, g- give me give me a name on that. Who who, who who's right in? Who who plays that side for for the Raiders? I thought that was KJ. Okay, Adrian Gutierrez. He says, "I'm glad most of us back." Ed Marin, what do you, what do we think of the Brady? T- oh my God, I've not seen that on the wire. If two people are saying it. Uh, what do you think of the Braided Eagles movement straight from Malcolm Malcolm Jenkins? Hmm. Uh, Horatio says, do you think D Ford will affect our draft? Yeah. He has to. Listen, you're not gonna put D Ford on the bench for, for Bosa, which is interesting. Although, you know, it could be a competition, and they could rotate both. And he doesn't have to start every snap yet. He's not. He is a first round pick. He's gonna have to play. But the thing is, if he he's picked up, and you picked up D Ford, one of the best in the league, it suddenly changes the dynamic here in, as far as the big board, right? So now you're not really focusing. You you look at your second biggest need. Fam, are we all wrong? It's not Allen. It's not Bosa. It's Abram or Nasser Adderley. What do we need more than anything else other than the edge, which we've already addressed? It's a safety. (laughs) All right, all right, we'll see. And if that's the case, they're going to trade down. Whoa. Patrick Cobb says, I think we're done with free agency except the little deals. I like our haul so far. Oh, let me have my phones. Let me see what's going on. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Dre! What's going on, on in, my Dre? Guy. Dre? Hey, man, I just... I just, the first thing I want to say is, man, if they let go of Cassius Marsh, y'all can cancel all of that trading down shit. They definitely going to get somebody on the edge. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, but do they have to get him in the first uh, it, round, Dre? Why you are you get- the, Bro, like Trey said yesterday, man, you, tired, you only got 53 roster spots. All of these picks don't mean a damn thing if these dudes cannot play and make the fucking roster. It don't make no sense to trade down. It would be stupid as hell. We already re-signed a lot of a lot of uh, uh, new contracts over just the last two days. You know what I mean? Not even two days. Last night and, and today. You know what I mean? So that wouldn't make any sense, man. If they release Cassius Marsh, it definitely increases the value of us going to get Bosa or Allen. And I would not rule out if they want somebody that's long, rangy, runs a four or five, and that can get to the quarterback. I wouldn't rule out uh, that boy Dante Sweet. I mean, God, Lee. You know, so um, it's it's it, it, they're definitely they're definitely going to get somebody on the edge. You know that that's why they we got. I think they got like a I think like a like a, a million or two in uh, cap relief from that uh, three million dollar contract that they signed uh, Cash of March to. Mm. You know what I mean? So I really I really see us uh, still going to get an edge rusher, man. And 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 that and that safety. Believe me, this this draft is so. Uh, there's so much defensive linemen and so many linebackers and uh, a couple of teams that need quarterbacks that there is going to be a plethora of good uh, safeties still available in the second round. A lot of these uh, top top ten safeties are definitely going to slip into the second round. Mm. So it would not it would disadvantage us to trade down. I'm telling you that right now. 
because they're predicting that at least I believe at least nine of the top fifteen picks will be you know defensive interior ends. defensive linemen edge rushers and line and line and outside linebackers. I'm telling you that right now. Yeah. You know, so I mean it's 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 so stacked and I think it would be a, a horrible situation. But check this out. So the 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 Dolphins they traded uh Tannehan and they also <laughs> did not get so Teddy bad. Teddy Bridgewater. So that means that if I was John Lynch, I would be calling him and asking him, man, you know, I would rather keep Nick Mullins, you know what I mean? Do y'all want uh do y'all want CJ Better? You know, do y'all want CJ Better? <laughs> they hang him. Go ahead and give us a pick, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey man, I, I'm just saying, you never know. Hey, Nick Mullins, well, this is one stat about Nick Mullins. Nick Mullins had the most passing yardage of all quarterbacks in the second half of the season. I, I saw it. I saw the man, it. The man almost passed for 3,000 yards in the second half. See, of the season. And this is why when people keep hollering you know about, I mean? we need wide receivers, we need wide receivers. Oh, we got Nick Mullins, nah, our third string quarterback, nah. out there dominating. God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Nah, we don't need no receivers, man. We do not need no receivers, I think. We are very okay at receiver right now. Because when you have an offense like uh, like Kyle Shanahan, and you have we we now have guys who have this will be their third season in that offense, so they mm. know exactly what they're doing now. You know what I mean? Mm. And yep. you got a quarterback who's been sitting on that sideline, biting his lip damn near to the point of drawing blood, ready mm. to get out there on that field, mm. reading the ins and outs of that offense. Yeah. And now you got weapons that's added, especially in Tevin Coleman. Man, yeah. just think we got three wide receivers that can come out of the backfield and catch the ball, and they can run the ball. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then we got a damn fullback who could do the same. <laughs> you know and, what I mean? And then so, you got I mean, George Kittle hanging around over there getting ready to do some destruction oh, like he knows how oh, to do. Oh, I love oh, this offense man. already. Oh, man. Yeah, uh, man. So, you know, I know it's a lot of people that want to call in. I just wanted to say that, uh, Cassius Marsh being released definitely solidifies our decision that we are going to draft one of the most dominant edge rushers in the draft. Mm. That's, I, I guarantee it. I could all I could almost guarantee it. And and uh, yesterday evening, the uh, Arizona Cardinals, after he had his own uh, personal pro day on Wednesday, they called Kyler Murray and said, "Hey man, why don't you go ahead and uh, you and your family go Start ahead and head to the airport." Yeah, yeah, we we gonna we gonna put, cut, bring you out to Arizona, man. They brought that boy out to Arizona so they can have their own personal workout with Kyler Murray. Come on, man. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, big yes, show. Ron, bro. Yeah, man. So, I so all those people with him in the same restaurant. Oh man, and all of those people saying that all oh, the general manager and the head coach didn't go to the pro day. No, because they was planning on having the boy come to Arizona. That's so, what I was trying you know, to tell him. Personal man. workout. What what they didn't go to yeah, pro man. day for? Man, they cause they were gonna have the boy come down. Yeah, man, check this out. We're gonna give you about you know twenty five, thirty million. You know, over two or three years. You know, you prove it. You can get go ahead and get that you know hundred million dollar contract. So, man, look out for us going going to uh, get Bosa. You know what I mean? Or or yeah. uh, I think it's Bosa, Allen, or, or Sweet. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, it's like be. I said, if you want somebody, so- yeah. Yes, yes, gotta be. Yeah, Dre, we're, but, gonna, uh, we're gonna go ahead and yeah. uh, I'm gonna see you Sunday as we go take tomorrow off. Uh, yeah, but uh, so, good man, stuff, shout Dre. out to the Niner Empire. Yeah. Shout out to uh, to Trez and Trey, man. They was a lot more positive last night than they have been the last two. Nights. <laughs> I don't like to hear positivity <laughs> from my brothers, man. So Let shout back. out to the positivity. <laughs> All I right, Ron Bob, man. Peace out to the Niner Empire, hey. fam. Hey, Dre, appreciate you, fam. I see you Sunday. All right, bro. For man. sure. All right, no doubt. Let's. Uh, and, I, and then I check up here. I see can't catch him. So just, let's not overthink this, Rumbo. Get Bosa. You know I want to. I just don't want to get my feelings hurt on draft night. April 25th, man, I'll be checking into a hospital that evening, man. There he is. Nurse is coming by. Rumbo. Rumbo. Listen, if it'll make you feel any better, uh, there's been a mistake made. And the 49ers have made a deal to get Bosa back. What? 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 Oh, dreaming. Okay. <clears throat> Aries Niner says rumors have hit it that 49ers could be moving running back Matt, Matt by, but Mac, they all, all cleared that rumor up. Not happening. 
Listen, don't be Matt Breda worked too hard to stay on this team now. Kyle, reward you rewarded Mostert. Now reward Matty B. Don't take him, make him leave. Matty Jimenez. Hey, what up, my brother from another mother? <laughs> que pasa, loco? Ah, Matty! <sighs> I'm taking my medication, though, Manny. If you, it makes you feel better, man. I'm getting better. Leroy Phillips Sr. says, Buckner, Ford, Bosa. <laughs> Three the hard way. <laughs> A.K.A. the Horror Express. Oh, man. Rod, man, have a good buy. Spinning roundhouse kick. I know. That was such a nice kick, though. Leroy Phillips Sr., what do you think Niners defense called the Horror Express? No, because if you do that, Jimmy G will be hitting on our, our defense. See, see what I did there? <laughs> Jimmy needs to leave them alone and play football, okay? Booker T said, Jimmy, you know I'm kidding, man. I'm just kidding. I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm playing. Booker T, I think we will have one less defensive back because Ward and Reed uh, can play multiple positions. Breda will dress up with the, the 46. I uh, hope Breda can play special teams. <laughs> Booker T. You gonna put Breda? He's too fragile for for special teams. He barely survives running backism. <sighs> Woo, man! I don't know what they gonna do. Hey, Perry Howard says I like the beginning of the. I saw it. I, I, I thought it was I was on the wrong show. <laughs> well, we just added that a few days ago. Perry, it, it's us. <laughs> but thanks. Biggity, 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 Max says. Why we release March? I like the karate kicks. I know. Maybe they can still put it up on the screen as a as a memory of every time we get a sack or something. Ah, Cassius is such a. I like him, man. Well, well, let us go to the telephone and say, James, what's going on? Hey, what's up, Rombo? How you doing, man? Oh, I'm doing fine, James, as I'm seeing this this machine get put assembled and ready to roll. I can, I can see him now. All right, all right, get back in it. Turn them keys. See what it looks like. It's still, you know, it sees a little tweaking. You can tell the timing is just a little bit off. You can see them pistons and everything is not hitting right. Not just yet, but they will be right after the draft. But, James, what are you oh, thinking? Yeah. Well, it's been an interesting last couple of days. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, uh, uh, it's definitely some real moves made in free agency, and um, and I like it. And then today, to see them re-sign Mostert to a three-year deal was interesting. But <laughs> at the same time, yeah, I think that contract is – Incentive based basically just for a special a special teams play. Yeah. They let Brock Coyle go, yeah. and that wasn't a bad move at all. And then they got rid of Cassius March today. So that's letting that's lead me to believe and know that you know they're going to use that second pick in the first round. And I'm still, from what I'm seeing, I'm still believing that it's going to be a linebacker and. You know, an outside linebacker, edge rusher by the name of Josh Allen. I really do believe that because simply, you know, if they signed Coleman as an insurance policy, which they did, because maybe they're not wanting to, and I think Kyle made it plain, he's not wanting to rush uh, uh, McKinnon back into anything. They want to give him time to be a full 100% go. And that's kind of, Mind you, you know, uh, Alexander just tore his ACL in October of 2018. So, you know, I'm not sure. I don't think they're going to rush him into the mix again either. But at the end of the day, you know, and letting Brock Coyle go, losing one uh, linebacker uh, last year that, you know, had a thing for domestic violence. And um, then – you know, we're, we still need that linebacker. I think at this point, in getting an outside linebacker, we're still in need of one. And at the end of the day, 
that's going to solidify this defense. Now, I'm not going to say that Alexander's not going to be ready to go. I hope and pray he is. But even with drafting a linebacker, even as Josh Allen, I think it kind of gives them a little bit more clarity to say, well, we signed D4 to a five-year deal, but let's just see, you know, how this turns out hopefully three years from now. Because if and picking Allen being such a talented pass rusher, edge rusher, and uh, outside linebacker with great coverage skills in college, if that really translate to, translates to the NFL, then there's a possibility that they may want to say, well, you know, do we want to still pick up the other two years of that contract with D4? Because we, you know, I mean, there's a possibility that, you know, Allen could be that real deal. And I hope and pray he is. But that's, I mean, I don't see no, it makes no sense to try to trade up and even move down five or six spots when you're going to lose players that, if you look at it, we're picking second in the first round. Hopefully, by the grace of God and everything comes together right, we won't be picking no, we won't be picking, just say, no farther than probably 29th and beyond. I hope 32nd for years to come. But I'm just saying, we're, we're, hopefully, we won't be up there in that top 29 picks of teams. Okay, for years to come. So, you know, it's uh, it's looking real good, though. I mean, it's all coming together. And I'm just – I'm looking at this running back situation. I mean, it's, it's really intriguing because Kevin Coleman coming over from the Falcons, Kyle Shanahan was trying to trade, wanting them to move up to get this guy in the first round. And I don't think they had a first-round pick when they uh, drafted a, a, a Coleman. And he was well, trying was to get him to move up. But then was they, Shanahan they there when Coleman Kyle, first came in? Kyle Shanahan had Kyle Shanahan had everything to do with picking Coleman. Right. Drafting Coleman. Him and uh, I think Bobby Turner was there too. And right. they, they um, the bottom line is Coleman knows Shanahan's system in and out. He knows that offense. Yeah, hard, which is mainly why they got him. Shannon thought he'd be way more expensive. He says, "Oh my God, get him now!" Yeah. So yeah. Well, that's 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 where the blessing comes into play. Now, nothing for nothing. I'd like to see Jarek McKinnon come back healthy and get it right because right now somebody I heard uh, a little chatter with uh, when you were on with the up caller something about Matt Breida possibly getting traded for. Uh, a yeah, wait, safety or a receiver. I don't we're, know who put we're that gonna, ball. We're going to wait till Who's Sunday it? on that one, though, James. James, we're going to go. And you know, fam, I appreciate you, James. Let me, let's see what develops between now and Sunday because we could be talking about that. And it seems Matt Mayalkos came in and squashed that, but uh, we'll see. Uh, I don't, I'm not buying that, man. That's like buying me, a, uh, selling me a Japanese car that's in Japanese uh, print, okay? I don't believe that. <laughs> anyway. Thank you, Rombo. Love what you do. Niner Empire. Niner Thanks, Empire. man. Okay. All right, James. Have a good night. You too. Hey, and I see Jerry Weiss. It was like Weiss, Weiss. What's this guy? It's having Weiss. Shout out from Germany. Hey, Jerry. <laughs> oh, man. I got, you know, actually, there is some truth to outside linebackers. But do you take him in the first round? I really think it's a coin toss. Because you know what? As I say, there's this this draft is packed. The 49ers may be observing outside linebackers and defensive end. Hell, they may not even think Allen or Bosa are the best to grab. Because the 49ers are weird. So you know what? I really wonder what's going to happen. Uh, Josh Allen is the number one outside linebacker. And number two, uh, I'm looking at, oh, who is that guy? Uh, Ja'Kai Polite, of course. Nah, pull that already. Well, they may have made up with Jakai. Montez is number three. At number four, you got Brian Burns. And rounding up the top five of outside linebackers, DeAndre Walker out of Georgia. So that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, 
And Rashad, Rashad Johnson, shout out. He said, Rashad, shout out to me. Rashad, shit, what's up? 4 9 for life, red, goal. Everybody has forgotten about our safety of Marcel Harris. Marcel's going to play in the box. He is not going to be threatened. In fact, if anybody's going to be threatened, it's going to be Kwaski T. Marcel gets after it. Uh, Lethal Niner Empire, oh, he said, what's up? Starting to feel like 2013 all over again. Sparing the health and, and the angels in the field. We should have a 12 in team. Uh, are you hyped, Rob? Oh, Lethal Niner Empire, I'm telling you. It's like I said last year. If we do not have all our players on the IR, because next year if they if we could have f- – Starting 11 on team. Everybody. Well, we need a lot of things. Oh, what you need is good luck. Stop putting all these players on the IR. Because everybody thinks players who aren't playing, they're, they don't realize their stats are impacted. Where was I? Oh. <laughs> I, I just did. I mean, let, me, let me give the lethal, lethal ladder empire. <sighs> no, no. Fire strikes back, boy, nice. <laughs> Wait a minute, listen. Rob, it gets more, more it's in 30 seconds. <laughs> Golf goes, goes for TD. <laughs> we get to work here next year. And I can't wait to see those eyes get big as D Ford's coming off the edge like a crazy man. Along with now, no longer a, a double block DeForest Bucker coming up the middle like he's untouched. And he probably will be. And then you got the other long guy, and I got a feeling Eric Armstead's going to have a year. I'm just saying, he's going to be coming around the other side. That is just ridiculous. Uh, Satch Montgomery says Quentin Williams over Bosa any day, all day. Watch Brett Collerman on YouTube. Nasser ain't yet. He bites on play action a lot, a whole lot. I said, you know, I'm just looking. I, 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 you're probably right. I don't know who the best safety available in the draft is, but I'm thinking the 49ers have already found and located him because, you know, they already made his mind up, and you could be right. Nasser may not even be on the radar. Felix! What's going on, man? Oh, Felix, man. I'm, I'm, with the puzzle is starting to separate again. Because, you know, we already had a feeling we was going to get in free agency. But now I'm trying to figure out what the hell the 49ers going to do in the first round. You know, we assume it's going to be Bosa or Allen. But, you know, the 49ers are good for, like, y'all assume what you want. <laughs> we got another plan. Because the 49ers are scary with that stuff. But what are you thinking? Yeah, because last year, remember, it was it was who – I forgot who they talking about we were going to draft. We drafted offensive lineman, McGlinchey. Yeah. So we just never Nobody know. Was talking we just about never him. know. Yeah. Huh. Uh, my thing about it is, and I just disagree. We need another offensive weapon. I, but but you know what? If you look at this draft, there's really not a lot of offensive threats. It's linebackers and linemen. Defensive. Yeah, um, there's a lot of good defenders. Even, and even even if it's the guy from uh, Ole Miss that everybody's talking about, what's his name? Um, DK. Big yeah. bad DK. I, and but I guess we got to start somewhere. I am I am happy that we did because usually on the first day for agency we never make moves. Never. We always we'll make things triple down. Subtle, yeah. But uh, I do like I do like what we've done. I don't understand the Jimmy Ward signing. I don't know why. <laughs> I, hey, that's, is that's that final? Scratcher. Did they sign? Yeah, a one year deal. That's, that's final. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I mean, we could still. I mean. Why don't we Why don't we call up Cincinnati and offer us that that second round pick for AJ Green? Yeah. Why not? Well, I I think it'd be an excellent idea. Uh, the, the problem is the 49ers don't like nobody. You could be twenty five, twenty six, I think at the most, but when you start talking about twenty eight, twenty nine, and thirty, the Forty Nineers act like like you got leprosy or something. They, they, you know they didn't, they don't be going. For, you know we didn't, we didn't go after one vet near thirty. Yeah, I know and. Why can't we bring in uh, what's Eric Berry? He's free. He's free agent. He's not going to cost that much money. Thirty one. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And I know, know he might. has an injury problem, but but, but you know you uh, and he, I know he's had an injury issue. But look at all the players we got with injury issues coming off of ACLs and stuff. So it was the kids. I mean, I don't, I don't think, yeah, and I, I don't, yeah. I don't think it hurt to bring him in. I, but um, like I said, they, they, it, 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 I, as far as the moves they've made, as far as getting four. 
I wouldn't expect that because you know you hear rumors circulating and swirling around and this, that, and other. Um, but I do like the moves that they've made. I, I do think that if Bosa's there, I think they're going to take him. They you have to so? take him. You almost yeah, have to. They have, they're gonna, you would yeah, think. You have to. Um, He's he considered the best player in the draft. But like I said, up and down, if you look up and down, um, defensive backs, the boy from LSU, Greedy Williams, and you got yeah. Allen. And it's just up and down. It's pretty, and then the Quentin Williams, the defensive tackle from Alabama. So up and down is just defense. So, um, but we still need a we still need a playmaker. We still need another playmaker. We really do. But you know um, what? Jordan Not Matthews, necessarily a wide receiver. And if you do get him in the second round, but Felix, the thing is, wide receivers. If you have an, a, a good crew. It'll take you to the Super Bowl just as well as a Super Crew. You, you know what I'm saying? It, right, wide receivers right. don't seem to figure into making that determining factor. This is why mm-hmm. it's listed co- coach, quarterback, defensive end, safety, and everybody else falls into place right. after that. Right. right. So. Well, I do think the best move that we made was getting uh, the running back. I like him. Because, you know, <laughs> me being at Atlanta – and I'm seeing the, he's very he's you, very sad. I thought they should I I thought they should have used him and utilized him more, but he catched the ball in the outfield and he is he is he is fast in the open field. I know I see that's him. a that's a very underrated that's a very underrated pickup, yeah. and that's going to really work wonders for us. Mm-hmm. I think that's the best pickup we had, and in, mm-hmm. in, as far as to me as far as for Asia, I think that's the best pickup we had. Mm-hmm. So that's 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 a good look. That's a good look. Yeah. And, and, and you know, I, and I wouldn't trade Breida. He's the one that pretty much was, you know, uh, he <sighs> almost had 1,000 yards rushing. Oh, you he know. would have been well over 1,000 yards. I wonder if the 49ers think he can handle it. You know, Breida's, he, they didn't hurt any part of his body but his ankle. Though, so that's a good sign. If he had been hurt otherwise, although it in the beginning of the year when the Dallas Cowboy, that monster came ran over to Breida, I thought he was dead. Man, Breida was laying there, moving, yeah. not moving. Um, right. I hope he gets stronger during the year or learn some technique. Don't you see a Dallas Cowboy coming around there weighing 290 pounds? Take an <laughs> angle on him. Don't take that blow straight ahead. He was trying to protect uh, who was our quarterback there? Was that Jimmy back there? Anyway, I, I was a little so. worried about that. So you know, I mean, we're gonna need some reassurance because Mc- I mean, McKin- I mean, he's coming off a, a knee injury, and it's gonna take about a, a good year, year and a half before he's full strength. So you don't want to put that load on him right now, coming off of a knee injury. So mm. I think that's the backs got, that we have—that's why they got Tevin, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, and and the backs that we have, I think we signed a Moster. That was good. He did a pretty decent job for us. <laughs> but um, I think it's—I I think it's going to be. I think I've seen the improvement as far as the playoffs. I'm not sure, but I am. I am glad that they did make some moves. I think they were aggressive. They, they, as far as them being aggressive, it really did shock me. Mm. It really, really did. Um, yeah, well. But we'll see. But yeah, I think, mean, look, call Cincinnati, call Cincinnati, call Cincinnati, and get AJ, AJ I Green. Know. Everybody wants AJ. We got, Felix, we, we got to go, though. And I tell you what, Felix, good stuff, man. And we haven't heard from you in a long time. Felix, get on back. See you Sunday yeah. if you get some time. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Take care. All right, All right. fam. Have a good night. Uh, I, and there's Evan Almighty. <laughs> he says, I'm all pour some red and gold in it. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> red and gold holy water on the field. <laughs> Not every guy. See, Trez has got me programmed. I saw my noni, Ryan to me. I was told my name. You know, I, uh, we really do need it. There needs to be somebody to come out there and bless the field. I'm telling you, man, I don't want to see my entire team on the IR. That just really freaks me out. I gosh, Niners, stay upright. We got what about I say? We got to do. They've taken the measures. They've hired some sports science team that's got a reputation. Let's see how many 49ers can survive the year. And quite frankly, it's like whatever team survives the season is usually in the running for the playoffs because other teams are crippled by injuries, and we were more than crippled. We were shot dead. Oh. Uh, Michael Pinnegar says, watching more of that Iowa State boy. I've been working with Megatron. Man, if we could get him and Greedy. Is that Hoxon? Or is it, it was fun? Aries Nair says, my, my uncle also said the 49ers are still looking for an edge. 
The Aries, man, don't play with me, man. Okay, I'll, I'll go read, read later, man. Because if they're still looking for an edge, it is definitely going to be Bosa. And then again, they could be throwing smoke. Uh, Al Lute says, what up? We finally got a football team. Let's go, Niners. <laughs> don't like Coward has been speaking highly of the Niners almost every week. He did that last year, too, though, remember? But he didn't like me. He didn't know all of our, our first string was going to go down in, in a heap. Coward actually knew our poor record was a, a result of injuries. Duh! He doesn't just make uniform statements like Nate Burleson. I know, Blake, why I hate Nate Burleson? Oh, I, you know, if I was driving down the streets of New York and I saw him in a crosswalk, I would, like, act like I, I was doing something. Oh! Oh, my God! Nate! How'd you know my name? Are you okay? No, everything's broken. Oh, I'll call an ambulance in a few minutes. <laughs> hey, Jux373, what about taking Allen at, at number two, trade back, and take Sweat? Y you can't do both. Uh, you, at, at number two, trade back with the second, with the, well, you already got the second round pick coming up. Or trade back up into the first, I guess. <sighs> okay, let me see the next one. Are we done? Oh, hey! Tony! <laughs> What's up, Rombo? Got you there early tonight, buddy. Yeah. I'm just sitting there looking at what the 49ers' just daily movement, which is probably going to go on all the way up until the last day of the season, as John Lynch never takes a break on this. But, Tony, what are you thinking tonight? Well, looking at the Marsh cut, I think the big thing everyone can take away from this is we're getting an edge rusher. Somewhere in the draft because you don't just give up your sack leader like that when he's on a pretty cheap deal. Mm. I think he's trying to make room right now to make a statement saying that we could do anything just because we got D4 doesn't mean that we're not going to go edge rusher. Mm. And ultimately, that just gives us more options and it makes teams more unsure about what we're going to do. Absolutely. I think the one thing that other teams can agree on is that we're not picking a quarterback. But our <laughs> pick... Well, that's definitely true. Our pick is the key to Dwayne Haskins because Murray's going number one to Arizona. Mm. And if it's not to Arizona, he's still going number one. I yep. think a team will trade up if the Cardinals feel confident in Rosen. Um, but we just need to be smart. And with the Titans trading for Ryan Tannehill, the Dolphins have five total career, career snaps at their quarterback position. That's Way too low. I think they're going to try and go for one of these rookie quarterbacks. They might pick up a veteran um, just to help him out. But I think now that the Dolphins are in the running for a quarterback, our pick becomes more valuable because more teams are going to want Haskins. Could be. Tony, do you by any chance know how many picks the Giants have this year? Um, they have... I think they have eight or nine, but they have two in the first round, eight which we all know about. Eight or nine. You know, we make jokes about the 49ers and Giants probably not being happy with each other, but if it came down, or actually, what am I saying? It would be the Cardinals. Would you trade one of those picks or two or whatever it take to get Rosen? I have a feeling the Giants are sniffing around that area. I don't know how serious it might be, but there was a report about that. And... You know, they, they, they keep their first-round pick. They get rid of Rosen, and they bring in uh, – they get two picks in the first round. That's got to appeal to the Cardinals, especially at number six or seven. They're at number six, aren't they? Anyway, go ahead. Rombo, I don't know if they even want Murray because he's a great quarterback, but traditionally the Giants are more of a pocket-passing team. Um, no, no, no. And I, I, know I said Kyler Rosen. I said Rosen. If the if the Cardinals, if oh, well, I mean, if the Giants call yeah, up yeah. to the Cards and say, "Listen, you guys, I will take Rosen. Uh, let's go ahead and I trade Rosen that for that six round six number six pick," that would have to make the Cardinals crazy. If the Cardinals were offered the seventeen pick, which is the highest the Giants will go, in my opinion, there's no reason to trade away your number six pick. I don't think that the Giants honestly would do that because. Josh Rosen did not pan out to be a first-round pick, even with yeah. the lack of talent and the lack of offensive line help. 
He just uh, was too slow to make decisions. He didn't yeah. process defense as well. They've I got mean, 12, the most 12 I picks give up for him is the third round pick. Yeah, Giants have 12 picks. Huh? Giants have 12 picks. 12? That's amazing. So they could give up a I, second. I why would you trade for Rosen when you can get Haskins or Murray when they probably have the highest ceilings of any quarterbacks in the past two drafts, not named Sam Darnold? But I'm just saying, Tony, that would include either the Cardinals or us. The Cardinals aren't going to trade that it's first round be pick. Us the team. Huh? I don't think the Cardinals are just going to trade away their number one pick. And if they don't want Murray, I think the Raiders are a team to look out for because John Gruden has expressed serious interest in him, right? Then you have the Dolphins as well. They are big suitors. There's other teams that we don't know if they're going to go for a quarterback, but it's likely. Hell, even the Bengals. Andy Dalton is not the answer. He hasn't been for all of time, it seems like. They might make a move for that number one spot. So, for me, I don't think the Giants are going to do that because, one, they're rebuilding. Two, yeah. when you're rebuilding, why would you build around Josh Rosen, of all people? He was <laughs> I, I don't know how everybody sees him. I, I, I don't know how everybody sees him. I mean, I don't know how the rest of the league sees him. They may think he was a victim of circumstances. But I, I, that's why I'm taking the Cardinals off the table as far as trading up to the first pick. I, I just don't see that happening. That Not with puts the Giants, us, I don't see it happening. Yeah, that's why I swear. That puts us into the fold, and that puts the Jets into the fold. That puts the next two, three teams – uh, who's going to get traded up to? And if they, I, if Tony, I tell you, if John Lynch gets too much of an offer, I see him going nuts and saying, fine, you got it. Oh, God. But, I mean, go ahead. We, we've only got about, let me, let's go ahead. Uh, go ahead, let me finish up because I interrupted you. Go ahead. All right, yeah. So, another thing to look out for, I don't think the Raiders are done with Nick Bosa yet either. If they offer us maybe the fourth and the 24th pick, I'm taking that every day of the week because <laughs> we're moving back two spots. I don't think Nick Bosa is going to be um, as valuable as two first-round picks, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. And we're not moving back four spots. Like I said, it's only a two-spot drop-off. We can still get any player we want, probably. That's what I would think. Because if Bosa goes two, then the Jets will probably trade back and a team will pick up Haskins. So do this, Jess. Uh, sorry, Tony. All right. Uh, Tony, we, we're going to wrap it up. <laughs> Go ahead. And, uh, and let, me, let me see you Sunday. Uh, let's see what develops, okay? All right. All right. All right. As we continue, uh, God like Jordan D. Ford, DeForest Buckner, Solomon Thomas, and Eric Armstead, Dead Quan, Warner, and Josh Allen. What a front seven. My goodness. And Ansel Shah. What's up, fam? And Clavis Miller, D. Ford will still need help on the edge. So another good uh, edge would help the Niners. I agree. I, yeah, I, as I say, if I had it my way, I'd know what I'd do in the first round. I'd be, I, you know, it could be the wrong move, but I'd definitely do it, uh, this, the move everybody's talking about. Jim Thornkill, Robbo, he said, we need to sign Malcolm Smith because we needed someone to cut in uh, August. If you make it through the line without getting killed, the linebacker will kill you. I agree. All right, let's go to the phone real quick. Uh, before it's too late again. <clears throat> All right. hey, uh, big homie in them says, we going to get Quinnen. Ah, man. Lee, come on in, Lee. Hello, Hello Lee. Hey, Lee. Yes. Sitting there thinking about the day and things that are going on. But, Lee, what are you thinking? Oh, yeah, I'm touching on. I'm uh, glad you started the show about um, Nisso Adderley. We need that free safety, Rombo. Um, yeah, that was like the I... biggest, one of our biggest needs, and we didn't address it in the uh, free agency. I think we need to go after him. Um, I know people are talking about Abrams, but Abrams doesn't fit our scheme, Rombo. He doesn't yeah, have maybe. that range, you know, that sideline to sideline range. Mm. He's also very over aggressive, misses a lot of tackles, and he has tight hips. You know, a guy like um, Can't have that. Adderley, he's got fluid hips. You know, he, he's. Got great range. He has great running tech, um, tackling technique. I, um, he takes good angles. That's the guy that we need to go for, Rombo. Um, he's going to probably go late first, early second rounder. 
And um, hey, but Lee, what gonna, about this? Somebody said he bites on play action pretty badly. Have you? I've not watched nah, him play. I just I, heard I about him. Over exaggerating. He can't be mm. really aggressive, Rumbo, but he also oh, okay. has good technique. He knows when to go for a like go low, wrap tackle, and not just go for the big hit. That's where Abrams doesn't know. You know, he doesn't go for tackling technique. He just tries to make the big hit, and he misses a lot of the time. And um, the thing with Abrams is he's good. He's got good like um, long. <clears throat> straight line speed but because he's got tight hips he's not good like going side to side and he doesn't have that agility like yeah, you know Kirill Thomas useless. is great sideline to sideline so yeah, he's not good used as, to be. as a single high safety run but there's only three guys you know me I studied the draft well and there's only three guys that really suit our system it's um, Nasir Adderley Delaware Darnell Savage out of Maryland and Chauncey mm. Garden out of Florida mm. but out of all three of them Natalie is the complete guy he's the one that's got it all run bro. and um you know, he's only a small guy. I think he's six, six foot, 205 pounds, but he plays like twice the size, you know. He's got that dog and heart on him. And um, it surprised me that they didn't go for any free safeties in the draft or in the free agency, one, bro, because that's where there was the most talent. There was like six pro bowlers. But that says to me, either they're confident in the guys we got and they're going to give them another chance like the right. Roberts, I the got Wards, a feeling that's it. And Exum, and Exum, or they've got a guy that they like in the draft that they can get in the probably second to, you know, sixth round. I heard they were looking at a guy out of Vanderbilt um, during the free agency, and I had a look at him, but he doesn't really compare to me when you look at the guys like um, Adderley and Savage and the guy out of Florida, Chauncey Gardner. Mm. So I'm really hoping that we go after um, Miss Adderley, as I said, like you said at the start of the show, because that guy's got it all wrong, but and, um, he's also a great playmaker, and he has the best ball skills out of any other defensive back in this entire draft class. That's where Abrams does, isn't good either. He doesn't have good ball skills, Rumbo. He doesn't turn his head and look for the ball. And he can't make plays on. I think he had one intercept last year. How did so, he um, get ranked as the top choice? That's amazing. It's because he, he, he's, he reminds me of a Landon Collins. He's great at like blitzing, and he's great in the box. You know what I mean? He's pretty small for the box, though. He's only 5'11", 205. Yeah, but he's solid. He's like that solid build, and he can hit. He's a guy that, you know, we come down and blitz or you put in the box. That's where he excels. Yeah. But, um, a four, four, he's five. got good straight. Yeah, he's got a good straight line speed, but he doesn't have that fluidity in his hips to turn. He had 99 on the tackles ball. last in, in last year. Yeah. You know who he reminds me of? He reminds me more of an Eric Reed. Ah, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's the same kind of player? Yeah. Old Reed was like, oh. Eric Reed. Yeah. But um, going back to that, if we look at the draft, that going off the free safety topic, um, if you look at the draft and you're picking at number two, to me there's only two clear guys you can go for, and it's either Bosa or um, Quinn and Williams. Rumbly. Like those are safe picks. Those guys are probably going to be, you know, all pros at this level. And um, you can't you can't take a risk on a number two pick. You know, I know James was talking about Josh Allen, and yeah, he's a great player, but if you're going to draft Josh Allen, he's perfect in a three-four defensive scheme. And in our scheme, you're taking yeah. a big risk at two. And um, what I'd like to do, if you don't pick either of those two at two, is the Trey Beck scenario, Rumbo. Mm. And a guy that no one really talked about, and we laughed about him. Someone said you talked about him yesterday, was a good pick is actually Rashawn Gary. And people think, oh, he only had three and a half sacks. But the reason he had three and a half sacks was he played in a 3-4 system at Michigan. Mm. So he wasn't used to get the sacks. He had a guy outside like Winovich who was getting all the sacks, you know? Oh, and and Winovich like, is ranked pretty well, too. Okay. Outside yeah, linebacker. And you, and you had Devin Bush also, the middle linebacker. Mm. But if you had if you had Rash, if you trade back and get Rashawn Gary, say at six of the Giants, for example, if you get him and you put him on the other edge, you have Buckner, you have Armstead, and you also have um we have the Leo now in D Ford, Rumbo. You know, that's that's a dominant that, that, line. That's a back. Lee, we're, we're going to have to hold up there because the phone calls are stacking up, so we're going to try to keep it right to a limit. But listen, yeah. let's. Uh, I, 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 I got to get back to you anyway. I, we'll, we'll, we'll talk and uh, hey, we'll see you Sunday, okay? Yeah, no worries. Shout out to the Empire. Thanks for everything you do, Ron. Bro. Shout Thanks, out to Money Lee. Mark. All right. Thanks. A great night. All right. Uh, and I was, is, that, is that Russo? Russo! Rambo. He. Russo, Russo, Russo. <laughs> Man, oh my <laughs> God. Have you seen the chat? Is somebody cutting juice? <laughs> Man, that's <laughs> comical. Come on. God, 
give me a break. Juice is not getting cut. This, I will guarantee. All right. Go ahead, Rousseau. So, uh, how you doing, Rambo? Oh, fantastic, man. I'm looking at what's going on, and I can see what's about to develop. I just, my only hope is we have a ready-to-roll Quan Alexander at least by game one. So, that, man, I can't wait to see what that combination of D. I mean, Quan, oh, God, him and Warner are going to be ridiculous. But go ahead. He, he should be good. Um, all yeah. signs are point, uh, pointing towards him being ready. Um, so tonight, actually, I just wanted to give you uh, my take on, on the draft. Um, and, you know, obviously I could tell you what I want and whatever I want is pretty irrelevant, but I want to tell you what I actually think and kind of put myself in, in Lynch's shoes. And the only way to really do that is to look at his track record and his, his history of the two drafts that he's done. So um, if you look at his first two drafts, we've traded back one time. It was actually the very, very first pick he's ever made for us, and we traded back only one spot with the Bears, and we got, ended up getting a ton of picks. And we already knew they were, they were trading up for Trubisky, so everybody was still on our board. And then if you look at every other single trade he's made in the draft, he's traded up. It's been about three or four other times. So You're right. So for me, right. that, not that tells me that down. he's not really interested in trading back. And if he does trade back, I think it would be maybe the Raiders just two spots because they have multiple picks and possibly they want Bosa or somebody like that. The Jets have no need, no need to trade up. So right. as far as I'm concerned, we're either, we're either drafting second or we're trading back to four with Oakland. So that's literally, and, and in my opinion, as far and, as what John Lynch has showed us, I think that's the only two realistic options. And we're not trading with um, Oakland. We hate them. No. So I, I really <laughs> think that we're keeping that two pick. And and for me, if you look at it, so he took um, he took Solomon Thomas and he took McGlinchey. So that's a defensive lineman, offensive lineman. And then he's used free agency to kind of get all the skill players, wide receivers, running back, you know, defensive backs, linebackers, stuff like that. So for me, I think he's 100% going defensive line because there's no offensive lineman to take it to. So that yeah. leaves Nick Bosa, Nick Bosa and Quinton Williams. I think those are the two guys that we're focused on. And See. he brought in D Ford, he brought in Quan. So I don't really think he's looking at adding a third linebacker. I think that would be kind of overdoing one need in free agency mm. for or for one offseason. Mm. So I you really can't think discount mostly. Be... He's going to be uh, Elijah Lee. I'm sorry. Uh, Elijah Lee is yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. Not, they didn't sign him for nothing. And I think they like his work. So, yeah. I agree. And then we have like two or three guys that we can kind of, we can kind of rotate in there if we need. Yeah. Um, I mean, Malcolm Smith, if he's healthy, I mean, he, he wouldn't be a horrible oh. third or fourth linebacker. Oh, I keep so, forgetting about him if too. If he's healthy. <laughs> right. So, so for me, for me in the first round, we're either going Quinnen or we're going Bosa, and you can't go wrong. If you get Quinnen, you know he's going to be drawing all the double teams. You're going to—it's just going to free up everybody. Oh. It's going to free up Buckner, Armstead, Solomon, D. Ford, all the linebackers, everything. You get Bosa, Russo, you're getting. Aren't you curious about Contavious Street? I am, and Contavious Street and D.J. Jones—they're uh, yeah, going to get Jones. a chance, but, but right, they're going to get a chance, but I mean. If they really believe Quentin Williams is the real deal, they're going to go for him. You, you got to take him. Yeah. You got to take him. So, and if they really believe both is the real deal, you got to take him. But for me, based on history, it tells me we're taking one of those two people. I know. That's right. what I really think. Ah, the drama so, builds. Wait until draft night. We're going to be sitting there. We don't have to wait long either because the first round pick is going to be really quick. And of course, then we come up next week. Hurry up with this commercial, man. We need to know what we're going to do. You know, it's it's going to be crazy. But I, I right, I hear and then what I just kind of wanted to touch on. Uh, I wanted to touch on the second and third rounds only. Right. Um, so as far as the second round, if you look at our history, once again, so I'm trying to put myself in John Lynch's shoes. Uh, year one, he traded up for Reuben Foster into the back end of the first round. Year two, he traded up towards the beginning of the second round, and he got Dante Pettis. So based on what we did in free agency and what we didn't do in free agency, it tells me that 100% we're going for a safety with the second pick. Mm-hmm. And – I actually believe that we will trade up to get that safety. So I know we only have six picks and we don't have a lot of assets, but if you look at all the depth we've signed, I don't think we need a bunch of bodies. I think we need, if we come out of this draft with three studs, I think that would be mission accomplished. Mm -hmm. So I expect in the second round to trade up and get one of the three, three or four safeties, whoever they have their eye on Adderley, Abram, you know, uh, I like, I like Taylor Rapp. I mean, Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm yeah, real, I've been watching all. I've been watching a lot of tape on all these guys. I'm big on Taylor Rapp. 
I think second round he trades up, and I think he gets a safety. And then uh, in the third round, I think this is where we look for a wide receiver. And the one guy that towards the beginning of the draft was projected to slip way, way down and then had a really good combine, I think the guy that we could, uh, we could look at, 6'6", six, six, big body, uh, Hakeem okay. Butler, yeah. who played at Iowa State. I think that's a guy that we should be looking at in the third round here. Should be, but remember, you just so, picked up uh, a 6'3 kid. Uh, I don't know how good he's going to be, but he's got experience. But, you know, I really, I honestly, if the 49ers pick up a wide receiver, I wonder how much priority they put on that. Because you know how they love their, they love right. their guys. And everybody else does it except for a handful of people. But I think the 49ers are satisfied with that wide receiving crew. We'll see, though. Uh, well, third round, uh, maybe uh, if we wanted to go offensive line, maybe if Cody Ford from Oklahoma slips down oof, to that, in that 60 range, that would be, be a guy. Yeah. That could be a good little pick there. Could be, Russo. Well, Russo, we're going to stop, though. I'm going to tell you what, man. I, I, I'll look for you Sunday, huh? All right. I appreciate it. Hey, Joe appreciate Niners. you, Russo. Have a great night. All right, bro. Take care. Hey, you too. And all chat, all chat is that all chat gamer? What's up, fam? <laughs> Thanks for the contribution. All right, and NFC West Nemesis. Oh, let me go to the top. Okay, uh, Daniel Davis. A lot of people act like uh, we were just trash last year. We were only, you know, I'm glad somebody. I thought it was me for a while, as I'm arguing with people who said that team sucks. Oh. Why do you say that? That wasn't the whole team or the real team. But there you go. Daniel Davis also agrees. It had more to do with health than it did the team just sucking. Uh, Bianco Brown, we about to sign Trey Boston for competition. Should try to get A.J. Green and definitely John Ross. <laughs> I got a feeling John Ross is somewhere. Somehow he ends up on the 49ers. Michael Smith, draft post and then trade Armstead. <laughs> yeah, you know what? If you're going to subtract something, maybe not him, though. Because Armstead, I got to feel, is going to have a huge year. People got to remember, Armstead was the second best defensive lineman stat-wise. PFF, check him out. James Oliveira. So Shanahan and Lynch are, are doing it right. Uh, free agency, doing by need and who they want. Young, fast, hungry players, not big-name divas. <laughs> and by the way, with that, but you know what? Again, Armstead probably is the best guy to trade if you're going to get anybody to listen so I, I'll go with that, though. Uh, Mark Lasilento says, shout out to Lee, Chris, and Somi. Trade back with the Giants. Get the two first rounders. Take Gary and Greedy for Jonah. <laughs> Jesus King, Bose is going to Oakland. Oh, no, 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 no. The Raiders do not deserve Bosa. Give them anybody but the top draft pick off coming off the edge. All Chad Gaming says, please talk about DK Metcalf. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Thanks, All Chad Gaming. You know, I, I just realized, I don't know if DK's a first-round pick. Somebody's going to do it, though. But, I mean, he's got to, he's got, you know how Kyle is. If you're not the complete package as wide receiver, you can't go in and out of routes quickly, he ain't going to look at you. We'll see. Hey, Dean. Hey, hey Rambo. What's up, man? <laughs> Dave, we're just going over the situation here with the 49ers. What are you thinking? Oh, man, I'm glad you got the Colonel, bro. Colonel Upstart, dude. Love it. I love it. Well, you're, 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 uh, you're glad uh, your, your, your signal came a little broken. I'm glad we signed him again. I call, I call, uh, uh, call Colonel Mustard. Mustard? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I've been uh, I've been trying to get in the last couple nights, but I uh, wasn't able to wait because the kid wants to eat or <laughs> wants to eat rubs. I don't understand how people can wait so long sometimes, man. I'm like, man, you guys got a lot of time on your hands, man. Oh, I know. Um, yeah, and the phone anyways, calls are picking man, up. Yeah, but go ahead. Yeah. Um. So, um, what? Uh, do you know what safeties the Dolphins have? Because yeah. I mean, they don't have a quarterback right now. Yeah. And, like, do they have some decent safeties over there in Miami? You know, I have to think about that for a minute. I don't – no name jumps out at me immediately about who's playing in, in Miami. Yeah, no, me, me neither, because, I mean, we could trade down with them, you know, and probably pick up a decent safety that has some experience and stuff. You, you, you want to trade down that far, though. Um, 
What's yeah. Miami? Oh, that's true. They're... Yeah. You know, you could trade a player or maybe a, a third or fourth round pick or something. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh. But if they're looking for a quarterback, yeah, they're going to want to come higher than that. I don't. You know, I don't really know what Miami's uh, plan is. I do know that they're, from what we're hearing, they're going to make a pitch uh, to us. So we may not have to do anything, but just sit back and wait. Yeah. I don't know what they're going to offer. Yeah, that, that plan on little thing was crazy today, man. Like he's going to be a backup. Like I was like, what the? What is going on here, man? Um, That's going to be his best backups in football, that, too. Yeah, right. Um, but, like, it's crazy, like, okay, so everyone wants, like, certain players or whatever for the draft, but, man, nobody knows what the Niners are going to do, you know? know? Like, just like last year, dude, the McGlinchey, like, I was like, I was like, what? Because we were, we were supposed to get that linebacker or whatever, and, like, everyone thought we were going to get him to get that pass for us going, and we ended up getting McGlinchey. <laughs> Which if, is a good if idea. If they get another guard again first round, I'm going to, like, <laughs> but Dean, what's so oh, funny man. is we we apparently we had the best offensive lineman in the NFL according to his pay rate. Uh, there's there's a Trent. The reason why nobody's seen that coming because we already had Trent Brown on one side, and I th- thought Trent Brown was good enough to actually maintain a position with the 49ers, and then we find out no, uh, the 49ers can't wait to move him. Yeah, my God. Yeah, and he wouldn't lose the weight, and yeah, I remember that. Um. But I, I'm kind of leaning it, uh, towards uh, King and Williams, though. Uh, man, I, I just love to have him, dude. He's just explosive, man. I, uh, he's from Alabama, good school. Um, yeah, I would, I would love to get him. Yeah, he would. Uh, another caller was talking about uh, A.J. Green, too. Um, A.J. Green, every year, every single year, man, I mean, he's an amazing wide receiver, but every year he has turf toe. The last like, three years, he, he he's has a out of, for turf toe, man. Yep. I, and it's just like, oh my gosh, like I don't, I don't know. That never goes <laughs> away. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. It, it's always there. But uh, <sighs> anyways, Rumble, I just wanted to just come in real quick and um, say what I wanted to say. Uh, I know there's like a bunch of callers, so I'll go ahead and go. But um, yeah, shout out to the Empire and uh, yeah, have a good one. All right, dude. Appreciate you, and, 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 and get back to the kids there, because I know they're, they're probably beating on you now, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, no. They wanted to talk, but, yeah, no. Maybe well, another hey, time. <laughs> next time, we're going to say hi. All right. Dave, we'll see you Sunday if you get some time, then. All right. All right. Sounds good, Robert. <laughs> Night, fam. Bye, there goes Dean. Uh, Panama Quaid says, you, 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 you need to put your DB uniform back on, and back on, and play... In our secondary, you know, Panama, I, I do believe the secondary may be looking a little different this year. Now we have a pass rush, it causes problems that the quarterback could throw right into that coverage now. So let's see what they look like. If they get beat up now and we're giving that quarterback less than two seconds to throw, then they will need to leave. <laughs> Demille Hunt says, I love that new injury. Demille, thanks, fam. And you people really know uh, what they're doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah shucks. Good. Thanks, fam. And Mr. Coconut says, if we trade down to six, also get Giants 16th, uh, there's a good chance that Quentin Williams will be there. Oh, don't. No, no. Quentin's not going to last out of the top ten. Uh, we'll be there, and he was a great in his combine. Quentin is going, and Quentin could be top five. So, you know, if you want Quentin, you got to get him with our two. And Tara Lewis, the 49ers website has DJ Reed strictly listed as a free safety. Uh, oh. He says, what's, what's your thoughts on DJ Reed? I see him making great strides this season. Uh, his play kind of reminds me of the, the Honey Badger, small physical guy who could play outside cornerback Dicklin safety. Yeah, he, he can do everything Jimmy Ward can do. Uh, isn't is 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 is, is cost impact. I was I thought maybe that's what they were thinking already, Terry. I thought. You got D.J. Reed. Bring him along. You let Jimmy go. I thought, I mean, just for fi- finance's sake, I thought Jimmy was probably gone. D.J. Reed become uh, the new guy of the jack-of-all-trade in the secondary. So this is interesting to see. There's going to be a competition, though. If Reed does actually impress more than Jimmy, I guess Jimmy could be in trouble. And Reed, of course, being the, the uh, last year's draft pick, will be the guy. Demir, 
Dimitri Tatter says, trades down. The edge rush step makes it possible. Holds the field. Got to make up for blue tent Foster Solomon Thomas picks. You know, the 49ers, you know, as Russo just pointed out, do you know the 49ers have never traded down very far? When they do trade down, it's very, very short. They've been trading up every, both last first year and second year. I hadn't thought about that. They're going to do it again. They're going to do it again. The 49ers are going to come back into the first round. Hey, 007. And we're getting back. 007. Yo, what's up, Rombo? We were looking for you last night, man. We we figured you was uh, like, uh, what's, I, what's there? What, what's what, what's some of the guys that always used to beat up on 007? We thought one of those guys had you tied up in a chair again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. no, 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 man. Can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> But what do you think about these deals, man? I mean, you, you just re-signed uh, Mostert. You, uh, Ziocha, you got rid of Cassius Marsh. Along with everything else we've done, because you didn't have a chance to talk last night. What, what's on your mind here, man? Um, I like the Jason Barrett signing a lot, man. That's oh, yeah. a good deal. That's a really good deal. Um, if, well, we're just going to give him an opportunity to compete. And if he competes like how he was when he was healthy, Ooh. then he's probably going to be starting. On the other side of Richard Sherman, which that's going to be that's going to be a good pair. So mm-hmm. I like that. I really like the Jordan Matthews signing because I was a big fan of him coming out of college. Because mm-hmm. I just remember there's a lot of hype behind him, and like I said, his first three seasons with the Eagles, I think I think all of those seasons have been better than our wide receiver one the last three seasons. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So like it, his. I mean, he was averaging like 850 yards a season. He almost broke 1,000 and had like 80 catches every year. That's better than any of our wide receiver ones have done the last three years. Uh, yeah, but the I, first I year, Goodman almost clipped 1,000 yards, season. though. So, but you know what? It, yeah. He is yeah. good, though, and he had a lot of guys with him, uh, from what I remember. Uh, he had some – didn't he have – what's that wide receiver everybody wanted – Two years ago, they ended up going to Houston. Oh, or, Doriel Green Beckham. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, this guy was legit. Ah, uh, he actually got traded out of Kansas City. I'm sorry. Uh, traded out of oh, so, uh, traded out of Kansas City. Give me four last. He was done uh, two years well, ago. I was only. Uh, I can't remember. I really oh, he was their main guy in Kansas City. Chat, give me some main about the main guy to Kansas City that everybody wanted, every 49er fan wanted, but we passed on him because. Uh, He's kind of hurt all the time. A wide receiver? A wide receiver? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's okay, though. Go ahead with what you were thinking, though. Somebody, somebody throw yeah. that name up here in a second. Well, I'll yeah. get it to you. Um, what was it? Uh, yeah, I like the Jason Barrett signing a lot. That was badass. And I like Jordan Matthews. That was a really good signing. I, well, just to, just to have a big body receiver, 6'3", for the red zone. So He mm-hmm. has some ability, too, so we'll see. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have to have 1,000 yards, but... If he can help us in the red zone when we really need a big body receiver to come up with that 50 50 ball, uh, then that's going to be a good timing. Remember, hey, I uh, got the name. Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Remember Jeremy Macklin? Oh, yeah, Jay Macklin. Yeah. He's pretty good. He was pretty good. I remember yeah. Jay, when he was with the Eagles, when he was, I, man, Jeremy weren't Macklin. They the, and weren't Michelle they there at the McCoy. same time? Uh, who was there at the same time? Uh, 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 the newest guy, the guy we just wide receiver, we just picked up uh, Jordan. Oh, Jordan Matthews. Matthews. Yeah, I think they were there at the same uh, time. No, I'm not sure if it was. It might have been for like one year. Jeremy Macklin, he was out of the league last year, and then he played for the Chiefs for like two, three seasons. So if he was with your, with uh, Matthews, it might have been for like one or two seasons. So. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, Ron, but I think that's the reason why they got rid of um, Macklin because of Matthews when uh, he came up. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks, man. Yeah, I knew yeah. there was something going on but, between uh, there. All right. Yeah, but uh, besides that, uh, we I, I like those two signings. Um, you know, thinking about all the free agency, you know, I still I really wish we could have uh, we could have gotten a high end safety, but because just because we're going to be putting so much pressure on the quarterback, hey, if we just we know for sure we have somebody back there who's just going to lock it down. But, you know, it's not the biggest thing in the world because we do have some talent at the safety position. We've got Marcel Harris. Jaquaski Tart's not bad. When he's healthy, you know, um, 
We also have uh, there's another there's another uh, so you have a couple of decent safeties for mm-hmm. depth, and then like Jimmy Ward, the coaching staff swears he's an All Pro when he's healthy. So yeah, I, mean, see, I don't know about that. But well, dude, the thing is, he is Jimmy Ward is not a slouch. He just can't stay on the field <laughs> when he's out there. It's like I, I I keep hanging my hat on the fact that had we if he'd have stayed in that game against Green Bay, we win six last year. He was doing a number, and Rodgers was having trouble. He couldn't throw at Sherman. So, and then Jimmy goes down. Of course, they win the game. Well, I mean, he wasn't good at outside cornerback. Remember, they tried to play him at outside cornerback, and I remember him just getting burned on a couple of occasions where he yeah. wasn't even paying attention. Yeah. And I was like, "Geez." And he so, was playing. I don't know, but he uh, was playing corner that that game against Green Bay. He had a debut. It depends on what level he could play the slot. And it depends on what level that, that guy running outside is. How good is he? Because his, his real spot is safety. But if you put him at the corner, well, he can actually handle guy, it. But you're not going to get him to cover an all-star. No. The other guy I was telling you that who I thought was really good is DJ Reed, actually. DJ yeah. Reed is a guy who I think is really good almost anywhere you put him. I mean, he was playing out of position last year at, at safety, and he was making some plays. You know. But in college, the guy was a really good cornerback in college, and he played on the outside. Yeah, so That's a guy who can play almost anywhere in the secondary. So we do have some secondary parts. I can yeah. kind of see why the front office was like, let's put more pressure on the quarterback. And I think the secondary can kind of, you know, kind of get things going because they've invested oh, yeah. a lot of draft picks. In the last Double seven. That's just basic game. football. If your quarterback has all day to throw, your wide receivers are going to. You could have Deion Sanders. You could have. Uh, you could put all uh, uh, all Pro Bowls. If the wide receivers will win that war, if the quarterback's any good, he's supposed to cover for just a certain amount of time. When you start getting long periods of time, like Russell Wilson provides, that's why Doug Baldwin made his career. Getting oh God, it makes me sick. You gotta get that quarterback's butt in the dirt. You know, because if he's got time, your secondary is going to lose. Yeah. So that's you just know, the way it goes. You know, you know, I was looking at Quan Alexander again today. I was looking at his numbers. Yeah, and, real quick. You know, I, I'm I'm growing on Quan Alexander uh, a little oh, bit he, just because you know he had three sacks his first two years and nearly 100 sacks. 145. 145. Yeah, that's, that's the a, tackles he missed is because of the bad defensive line he was playing with. So I, I yeah, look at the, look at some of the Tampa Bay films. You'll see what I mean. Yeah, yeah, Double yeah. seven. We're gonna stop though. Yeah, so, let me let's yeah. get let's continue on Sunday. All right. All right, man. All right, All right we'll talk to you later. All right. Um, <laughs> Queen, you like that? He said, thanks. I said, intro. Marcus Espinosa. Hey, he's a lovely brother, and thanks for all you do. Uh, thanks, fam. Horatio says in every 49ers interview, John Lynch talked about Bosa or another edge rusher. Horatio, there it is. That's what makes me think he's not going to go for Bosa or an edge. He Remember the last two years we talked about everybody but Solomon Thomas. He even talked about picking up what's the, that running back with the Jaguars. Dick, man, I, whoa. Brian Scott says we are behind schedule because if Foster and Thomas is so <laughs> – He's not guaranteed if they wasn't such a waste of talent, they would have gave the second pick. Ah, oh. we were in position that year to pick him up too, huh? Last year we could have gave up that pick for OBJ. Okay, too late. Vincent Johnson, I don't think this will be the year on offense uh, where we're putting crazy points on the scoreboard, but I think they are trying to build the D up uh, first where teams uh, can't get the ball for. Uh, and I, and, I, and I beg to differ on that, Vince. Kyle Shanahan, there may be, you know what the thing is? It takes him two years to install this program. Once that happens, uh, what you saw in 2017 at the end of the season with Jimmy G, Kyle Shanahan is not a legend with the X and O's for no reason. It's about how long does it t- take his team to comprehend what he's doing. Once that happens, he's got George Kittle. He's got the speed. Now he's got some height. Now he's got Dante Pettis. Let's say this. The 49ers will, will average over 21 points next year. 21, 24. Let's give a field goal there. The 49ers will average over 24 points next year. It'll be a piece of cake. They're not going to be able to do anything with George Kittle. You can do that, and you're going to use a lot 
of people to keep him under control. Meanwhile, I got Pettis. I got Goodwin. I got Now I got Matthews. That's too much. I got guys coming on the backfield that are going to kill uh, linebackers. That's too much for Kyle Shanahan to have at his disposal. Remember, he built this team. The other teams he's done well with, he walked into. He built this team because he knows what he wants to do with it. You can believe in it. Uh, who we got next? Pedro! And that's another 49ers first down! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh! It's Pedro, Pedro! <laughs> Out of Atlanta, GA, the president of the 49ers chapter! Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Pedro! How are you, man? How's everybody doing? How's the empire doing? Hey, Ready Pedro, I'm so season, glad to hear from you, man. <laughs> you know we're doing great, man. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good, man. Just uh, listening to all the callers. Very excited to to feel the enthusiasm from everybody. That's what makes the, the fan base. That's what is the fandom. Love it. And can't wait to see uh, most of these people in uh, Nashville going to the draft, baby. Ooh. That's right. It is over there close to you, kind of. Yeah, man. Mm. We'll be there. It's going to be a crazy we'll be night. There. Oh. in the house. Pedro, are you ready for a surprise, though? See, because we all think Bosa is going to be the number one pick because it's pretty obvious that the Cardinals can't pass on Everett. I mean, I mean Murray, he's, he just fits too well. You've got to have him. And let somebody else have him? No way that's going to happen. So we're going to be the team that everybody's going to trade up to. Are we trading up, Pedro? Or are we going to keep that number two pick and get what we want? I remember um, um, John Lynch made a comment. I don't know if he was Lynch or Shanahan. He said, There's, I don't want to get a guy. We want to get the guys. So they may get multiple drafts based on whoever the team is going to be. Hopefully it's not the Raiders because you know. No, 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 no! Don't give the Raiders want that. nothing. But God, uh, I hate that. <clears throat> we, we always say, you know, defense wins championships as long as we are ahead. <laughs> so we need to get. <laughs> yeah, man. True. We're, we're, yeah, as long as we're ahead, because Jimmy needs still needs that protection. We we cannot make it. He needs that uh, three steps, those three seconds. He, he needs to have that confidence back again. I understand everybody is uh, going big on defense. I get it. But all these ACLs, injuries, it makes you feel like, oh, man, hopefully it's 100%. Hopefully it's not something we're going to risk. But every time we go to the damn preseason, it's always on the second game or the last game, we have four or five players going down and oh. look at my, uh, McKinnon, oh. that ACL. Oh, Pedro, I'm on set. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> but we, we have to be realistic on this. We have to be realistic on this. Injuries do happen. Yeah. And we just need to be prepared for that. All well, of us can of. be talking, oh, yeah, playoffs. We can be talking, yeah, we're going to be. My soul is one, one play, and all of a sudden, why we put all our eggs in this basket? We have to start thinking multiple. We have to start thinking what's plan B. If this player goes down, who do we have that we can rely on? I'm glad uh, Mueller is there. He he's he proved that he's there, but that uh, that weapon that's needed in offense, we cannot just rely on on Kittle or uh, Goodwin. I mean, Goodwin, he went through hell uh, uh, emotionally last year. So, I mean, to put everything on Kero, it was just a, it, it, it was a lot. Yeah. So we have to have that all, all, all around multiple um, offensive players. So yeah. We need more on offense. I really like uh, JV to be complimented on the other side with uh, Sherman. That's great. But we have to make sure that ACL is 100%, man. <laughs> we, we love well, that well, wait, to see the YouTube. Pedro, who are you, who are you talking about as on defense with an ACL? You're, you're about Alexander? No, um, the guy we just got from the Chargers. Oh, Verrett. No, no, he's the ACL is yeah, not Verrett. a problem. Uh, his Achilles is what killed him last year. But it got him in the first day oh, of practice. Apologies, so. My apologies. 
Yeah, when he, when, when the first day of practice last year, he went out and did that right away. So yeah. that's pretty much yeah. had a year to heal. Uh, yeah. He's going to be trying out, though. He's got to beat Akello. Can you imagine if Akello comes in, turns into some kind of beast? <laughs> I'm just talking. I wanna, you know, I don't know. I don't think he can beat Perrette, but still. But go ahead. Now, one thing about Bosa, because, you know, we're talking about Bosa. I understand, we, you know, he's uh, the player that everybody's talking about. Okay, he's a, the big deal. It's just something about me when somebody says, you know, I'm going to sit down and get ready for the NFL. So if he sat down his college season, what would make him uh, do the same thing in the NFL? Yeah. What stops him from doing the same thing? It, it's it's just, just... For me, it's just character of the person. It's the, the principle because the thing is depending on you. So I'm going to sit down this season just because I want to get ready for the NFL? Mm. Hell no, man. I'm going to prove you why you need to drop me first? There you go. All right. But if well, I'm going to sit down, it's like, a, I didn't see you. I agree. What if you go down the first, uh, yeah, I mean, what if you go down on the first play? Ah, uh, uh, Pedro! Pedro, oh, Pedro, 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 oh, 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 Pedro, get that. Uh, but we got to win the next I know, I, I know like, what happens, yeah, but I don't, don't, from college. don't, we don't make it make happen. Sure <laughs> Pedro, we got to make sure. Our time's up, though, Pedro. Listen, let me, Pedro, let me, okay, would no. you get back in there? Sunday, I'll be looking for you. And I've, actually, we haven't had a talk in a long time. I'm gonna, I'll get back to you shortly, okay? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Everybody, right, enjoy the weekend. Be safe and go Niners. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, Pedro, if you're in the Atlanta area, Pedro, he is the 49ers president uh, of the chapter out there. Check him out, Pedro. Um, God, I really need to get his, his info on his uh, how to find him. Just look, just uh, maybe just 49ers uh, chapter leader. Hey, you know what? It's Spartan 49er. What do I think I just did? It? Facebook, Spartan 49er. You'll find Pedro. There it is. All right. Uh, James Oliveira says, thank you. Thank you for the shout out, Robo. Love yourself. Black Force CO. Black, Black Force, Black Force. CO, what is that short? That's not Cali. That's Cal Colorado. Yeah. Matter of fact, since 69. James. <laughs> David Murphy, Taylor, rap. Taylor, rap. Taylor, rap. Taylor, rap. Check the fill. <laughs> Check the highlights. Nothing but INTs, boy. I tell you, I can't wait to go check him out now. Because uh, according to Lee, Nasser's still the guy. But, yeah, Taylor Rapp gets a lot of attention. Andy Nunez. He says, hey, what's up? I'm liking what we're doing so far. All right? And Snazzle Shabizzle. He says, uh, off subject, Gore said he will retire as a Niner. He already said, well, he said that a while back, though. So we have another Hall of Famer to look forward to, hopefully. And in my humble opinion, when you say, wouldn't it be great if Frankie comes over next year, spends his last season with us? Because Frankie thinks he can still play till he's 40. Well, even Tom Brady, right? Coach says, hey, some outside coach. He said, yeah, Williams really uh, going to help on edge rush. Are you serious? <laughs> No way we take another DT, no way. I, 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 I can see that, Coach. I, I, I think we probably have enough beasts in the middle now. And, and we still, I, well, I want to know what Catavius looks like in the middle because they, they hurried up and got rid of Earl. So there must be some thinking going on in there. Oh, no, it ain't. Yamin! Yamin! <laughs> Rambo, what's good with you? Hey, Frank yeah. Ball, get on this 2020 Super Bowl run with us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Frank, you know said he's got, to have, he's got to have another 1,000-yard season first uh, over in Buffalo. But, you know, I got to take wrap Frankie up tight over there. It's cold, man. Hold. Rombo. Rombo. All Yo. right. All right, Rombo. Yeah, I mean, Frank Gore, he could, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, his one year joined with Buffalo. <laughs> But in 2020, Frank Gore, yeah, you know I mean, come home. Yeah, you know I mean, so we can knock, yeah, you know I mean, yeah, you know I mean, so we can knock out these fucking Oakland skaters. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, God. Boy, I, I can't wait to see what it looks like, y'all. You know I mean, what does Frank Gore look like this year? Because that boy, man, Frank ain't getting tired. 
My God, he hits. Right. Frank likes for you to hit him. He's kind of sick like that. I, I believe that's why he stays in football. <laughs> hey, like, I mean, like, uh, like uh, Frank Gore from the MIA. So, like, I mean, like, you know, they, 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 yeah, I mean, they work horses. Like, uh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, uh, Frank Gore, Mike Irvin, all of them. Like, you True. Know what I'm saying? Don't say nothing about to you. Oh, man. <laughs> God. Hey yo, Rambo. I mean, it's crazy because uh, yeah, I mean, uh, my real dad. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, boom. Like, I mean, like he ain't have it now, but like, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, he was a Hurricanes fan. Like, yeah, I mean, like I'm a um, I'm an NC fan. Let's go North. Let's beat these fucking uh, Blue Devils. Fuck <laughs> North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but Zion, I want you to come to Chicago though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh God! Uh, this is March Rambo. Madness. Ugh. I know, I know, I know, Rambo. Like, yeah, you know I mean, like this shit is crazy, Rambo. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, yeah, you know I mean, uh, we be, uh, yeah, you know I mean, do twice. I don't know. I, yeah, you know I mean, I think, uh, yeah, you know I mean, uh, I think we might lose this joint uh, tonight. Mm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know I mean, yeah, you know I mean, we're gonna take the sacrifice because you know I mean, when March Madness get here, you know what I'm saying, we try and win another championship. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I do. But yeah. y'all mean, but y'all mean, give me give uh-huh. me some of your feelings on, on, on the latest, because we gotta go here in a minute. But what give me some feelings on, on what's going on with the uh latest free agency signing. You happy with everybody? You, do you like Quan Alexander? Listen, listen, I'm grateful, Rombo. Like I can't say shit right now. Like, you know what I mean, I am grateful. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all I'm focused on is when they make this motherfucking schedule. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I mean, I want us to play these fucking Pittsburgh stale breads. Yeah, you know we I mean? do. On Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I mean, I, well, truthfully, I don't know. Like, like, I would want us to go to Pittsburgh, but I think, I think Pittsburgh, yeah, yeah, they coming to Cali. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And like, Cleveland, you know I mean? And, 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 yeah, I mean, Cleveland is too. That's what's going to be the nighttime prime time game. Because wow. I figure they know the 49ers, and it always depends on because they can take them games away from us Sunday nighter, right? right. See, that right. way they'll put the 49ers in a position where if the 49ers are going to come in and play some ball, let's put them up against Baker Mayfield versus Jimmy G and company, Kyle Shanahan versus wow. the coaches getting away on talent, right? So if the 49ers do lose right. everybody like they did last, ah, if that happens, they can take the 49ers off of primetime and put somebody else in. But I got a feeling everybody wants to see that game. Rombo, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Damn, upset alert. Um, the Niners, yeah, I mean, we're going to beat Cleveland, Rombo, on Sunday night. Oh. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, ah, oh, ah. And, 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 and Rombo, Rombo, I'm going to say this one more time, Rombo. I one said. more time. Yes. It might be a surprise in the draft or in the middle of the season. Rombo, uh, Niner Empire, we got the, you know I mean, we got to see the blueprint. Cause Coleman, Coleman came to the Niners. Oh, tell and you know, the next person is gonna come to the Niners, Rombo. Julio, Julio. I knew he's got. I knew, knew you could say it. Julio, you know what I'm saying? We'll see, Rombo. Hey, me a Rombo. That's the blueprint, Rombo. Um, I don't know, like you know I mean, like it might don't happen in the draft, but yeah, you know I mean, it might do happen, but then. It, it might happen. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, when the, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, when the trades happen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, because it, you know, the, the thing about the draft is, just as far as wide receivers go, DK, I'm disappointed because I found out about his ability to run route. He would have been the prime time pick, but if he can't run route, you know what? I yeah. don't actually. The guys in the draft are really a not a lot better than what we already have. I do think though, AJ Brown, Debo. They could actually, they, I'm sh- not sure. There may be somebody else, too. But uh, we'll see. Uh, 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 Rombo, um, I mean, uh, I think uh, I think we're going to either get Bosa. Damn, I can't even argue right now. Like, <laughs> Rombo, this has been so much of a blessing right now. Like, I mean, like, I can't argue about Bosa or Josh Allen or, um, 
or uh, I mean, uh, Josh I mean, Allen. Uh, yeah, right. Like, but yeah, I mean, let's see. I'm gonna let you get back to the to the madness, March man. We gotta go, fam. I'm, I'll tell you what. I'll be back Sunday looking for you. And stop taking off all them days and making me worry. Where is Yami? Where's he okay? So, uh. Hey, Rambo. Rambo, I love you, Rambo. <laughs> uh, that mean, uh, Rambo, I love you, United Empire. I love y'all. That mean, uh, I just be working. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta get mean, the green. Like, like, I'm, uh, you know I mean? uh, I'm trying to take care of myself. You know I mean, uh, take a vacation. And, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know, y'all, baby. I know what you're saying. All right, fam. I look forward to your Sunday. If you get some time off from work and uh, be waiting on you, okay? All right, Rambo. Uh, love you, Rambo. Love the <laughs> Nine the Empire. Beatrice, I love you. Beatrice? Let's go. Yeah. Y'all be going out with somebody named Beatrice. Good night, y'all, man. I'm from the I'm German. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, she going, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, she going hit me with a three, uh, 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 thirty piece of nugget. Yeah, I mean, my fault, <laughs> DeAndre. I love you, ma. That empire, I love you. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, longest exit in the world. Yeah. Good night, yeah, I mean. Chichester going to win. He always wins. So March, March Madness is uncalled for. Just give it to Duke right now. Uh, Daryl Edwards, he said, oh, <laughs> Darryl, my wife loves your show, and she's a Redskin fan. <laughs> Hi, wifey. How you doing? <laughs> Dimitri Tanner says, Kyle and John are prepping for Jimmy G, uh, Defoe, Staley, Sherman, Goodwin, and Solomon, Tom, Solomon Possible replacement. All those guys get replaced? Kyle and John are prepping for Jimmy G, DeForest, Staley, Sherman, Goodwin, Solomon, Tom, Possible replacements? Jimmy G to be replaced to Forrest Buckner? Staley's going to retire. So Sherman, Goodwin, Solomon, Thomas. I don't know, Dimitri. That's a, that's a lot. Jimmy G to be replaced? Uh, Quentin, maybe I read that wrong, okay? <laughs> Quentin Hunter says Noah thought. I know, hey, but Noah doesn't block. And between the Iowa guys, the 49ers are probably more interested. But Noah does okay blocking, but I think between the Iowa guys, I'll bet you Hawkinson gets the most... Love up in the 49ers front office, though. Fott's a bad man, though. Fott's just a big wide receiver, though. He's, he's not a blocking dude. Ed Merritt says, with free agent pickups, I like the idea of Corey Ford, his second pick. Um, really? It's Corey Ford. Go check that out. Oh, he's an offensive lineman. Uh, protect Jimmy G. Uh. Jason Johns, wide receiver. Have great wide receiver for this uh, Wide receiver, we have great, I guess it's, oh, we have great wide receivers for this offense. We can get a good wide receiver in the second round. Ridley, Brown, oh, Ridley. I forgot about Ridley, and I have a, there's about three or four guys I think Kyle is probably going to take real, knowing Kyle like like we do, you know. And so I'm telling you, Andy, Isabella, uh, Ridley, who they were talking about earlier, these guys are all in the mix. Even Hollywood Brown. I heard he has catching issues. So maybe even that big kid from Arizona State. Oh, yeah. You know, that is in, uh, in kill, Harry. We're fine on the on the, on the uh, wide receiver front. Uh, and it's just because of Kyle's uh, offensive system is why you, you those kind of things. Sir Garcia, what's up? And Big Hep says, Niners locked and loaded. <sighs> Oh, Michael, Michael Rue, Rapana. Mike, what's up? Mike, come on in, man. Bravo. How are we doing tonight, man? Oh, Mike, it's just another glorious night as we take these days out of here so we can get to the draft. That's what I'm trying to survive now. we got 41 days left. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Getting ready for that, man. I mean, yeah. getting ready for that, but... And the speculation. Say, I oh, go ahead, Rambo. No, I was, and the speculation involved between now and draft night. Because remember, Mike, we were all wrong as two left shoes last year. And Mike, you were there watching that big, huge dude walk up to the podium and put on that red cap. And now he's a Forty Nine er, Mike Mike Bluglinchy. But go ahead, Mike. What are you thinking here? Yeah, that was awesome. That was awesome. That was a surprise, and it was awesome. 
Yeah. But, uh, yeah, what I'm thinking is uh, I hear a lot of people thinking that, like, edge rusher, oh, we're covered now, we're good. No, we're not. We're not even yeah. close to covered with edge rusher. We got one guy. Yep. One guy, Rombo. If something happens to that one guy. We're we back to nothing. last year. We're back to square one. Yep. yep. Exactly. So, no. No, 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 no. Number two pick, edge rusher, please. If they trade back, they got to they gotta have faith in one of those other edge rushers that they're going to grab at, you know, six or whatever it would be. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. it's got to be an edge rusher because this is a great draft for edge rushers. But that doesn't it. mean you can go down to the third round to get one. That means True. you got to get one of the top, one of the top edge rushers. And so we got our pick of the litter, man. I mean, I mean, if, if Arizona takes Bosa, we still got our pick of the litter. There's still a couple more that we can plug in there. And I want that front four to just be, you know, like yes. you were talking about, man. Yeah. They're going to be, like, scared, you know, to yeah. come out there and, oh, what are we going to do with this guy? Well, we're going to double-team that guy, but what are we going to do with that guy? What about right. Buckner coming up the middle? What are there we going to do go. with him? Yeah. You know? That's just a scare. And, I don't want, and, Mike, we don't want to see any deep routes developed where the quarterback's got time to go downfield deep. No, I do not want to see that this year. We've seen it every year. I want that quarterback, the best thing he better do is go with the short stuff. You go downfield, you're going to die. I, that's what I want. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And, th- and when the Seahawks were at their best, when their defense was at their best, they had that front four, man, that was just dominant. I mean, and they, and they were able to plug different players in there. And, I mean, I remember when they went out and they paid all the money for Michael Bennett, and then they got the guy from the Lions uh, – what was it, Cliff Averill, and mm. they wound up with uh, quite a few pass rushers in that one free agency, right. and they were just, that front line was dominating, and that's what the Niners have an opportunity to do if they can get one of these top flight edge rushers in the draft this year. They can immediately, I believe, with D Ford, if they stay healthy, I believe their defensive line will be dominant. Big time. <laughs> That's what they're working for because I know Robert Salas sits down every every every. I can just see Robert every Monday. The coach is. I mean, Lynch is probably apologizing to me. Listen, we're going to get some people out there for you next season and uh, and see if we can fix that right side or fix that edge because uh, yeah, we're we're we're, we're noticing <laughs> it's uh, a little laxed. So yeah, I, it's coming. Yeah, they just have not had the horses, man. They have not had the horses. Um, that, you know, it's a good point that people are bringing up another linebacker because, um, the Sam linebacker spot is a, is a position that, you know, needs to be addressed. And, and, um, I'm not quite sure how we go about addressing that position. I, I know that, um, if they did drop down and they didn't get a pass rusher, which is what I hope they'll do, um, they could go for Devin White. And I think he would be a wonderful Sam linebacker, and um, How tall I think he? he would fit right in. Uh, I don't know, Rumble. I'm not sure. You know, but I just know, think I he's think he a hammer. That's the LSU kid, right? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. The way he plays, he just he plays the game. He, he's another guy. He would fit the mold of the dogs that they're bringing in. Yeah. The dog. You know, yeah. so he would he would fit the mold of what they're bringing in, and and I also think that defensive lineman Quinn and Williams would fit that mold too. I think mm. he's a dog too, and I think he's an elite football player. And if you if you talk about the best player in the draft, it could be that defensive lineman. That could yeah. be the best player in the draft. Yeah. So it, it's tough when you look at w- what needs do we have and who is the best player in the draft, and you know. Um, what you're going to do after that first pick? Were you going to go wide receiver? Or are you going to go linebacker? Are you going to go safety? What are you going to do? You know, so it's it's definitely there's a million different ways they can go. Now I saw Robert Quinn got re-signed by the Dolphins. It looks like um, they paid him a, a roster bonus or something and got him back on there. <laughs> well, don't but, leave Robert here. Take I, this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I was thinking if uh, I, I thought he was going to be gone from them, but. Um, I was thinking that um, the Niners could have went out if they if they wanted to drop back and maybe cover that linebacker spot or that safety spot in the first round, that they could go and and pick up Justin Houston or Robert Quinn for this year. You know what I mean? Mm. And you know, 
but but then again, you're missing out on an elite pass rusher at the top of the draft, you know, and you're not going to get that many opportunities. You, you may not get this opportunity. Hopefully they won't get this opportunity. Well, yeah, again, yeah. Hopefully they don't have this soon. opportunity every year. We don't want to become <laughs> yeah. the Cleveland Browns five, six years of first round draft picks. But then after it's all over, look at that team now in Cleveland. Ridiculous. Mike, we're out of time. I'll, uh, I'll hopefully I'll see you Sunday if you get some time. And uh, let's continue. All right. It sounds good, Rombo. Thank you for all you do, man. Shout Thanks, out to Mike. the umpire. And have a great night, Rombo. Thank you, Mike. And you too. Look for you Sunday. All right. Will do. All right. All right. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Theodra says, all my life, my name's been butchered, but never have I been called Beatrice. <laughs> <laughs> I, Theodore, I got to tell you, I thought the man was trying to talk to somebody named Beatrice. And then he came back to say, and I mean, Theodore. The, the See, boy, y'all mean, now it's been cleared up. Boy, did you mess up. My goodness. There's been divorce proceedings behind that kind of mess up. <laughs> Big Heck says, Niners locked and loaded. Brunel Jacobs, it, I know, th- Brunel, thank you, man. I've been, I, every time, you know, I hate it when people put consonants in weird places and don't follow it with a vowel. I'm always left to guess with the pronunciation. It's, and if you, have you been having the trouble, same trouble, according to several people, it's, who've all came in and corrected me, it's Nakil. Like Shaquille, but without the Q sound, it's Nakil. Nikhil Harry. <laughs> Thank you, Brunel. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> uh, NFC West Limit says, What up? Robo Sports is one of Empire Maniacs. This toast is for you. Oh, I forgot to bring my beverage. <sighs> Thanks for help. Jeff Tan, we finally got that speed at the edge, baby. Quan Alexander already knows about all gas and no brakes. And Ed Marin, he says, I think Byron Murphy has a lot of what they would look for, a good anticipation anticipata- and participation. <laughs> That's like when I first learned to stop saying tuna fish sandwich. He has good anticipation speed, size. I wouldn't be surprised if they see him as a cornerback free safety option. I like Julian Love. Personally, love the way he plays. And all these guys are in the mix. Because what we notice from the 49ers, they look and observe and evaluate players a lot different than you and I do. So what we don't see, they see, and vice versa. Although it didn't – well, you know what? John Lynch did say he wanted Derwin James last year. I meant to tell you about that too. Uh, uh, you know, I, you know, I, I, you know cause <laughs> he's still mad <laughs> in Virginia. All right. Well, oh, NFC West Evans also says – oh, we did this. We're over here. Okay. Give me that Hulk maniac. What's up, brother? <laughs> I say more, brother. I have to disappoint everybody. There's going to be five receivers going in the first round. You think it's going to be five? Including who? Metcalf, A.J. Brown, Marquise Brown, Butler, and Nikhil Harry. Yeah. That sounds about right, too. Well, listen, listen let me explain, because I told Night Hawk Fan Club about explaining. All right. All right. So DK Metcalf goes to the Broncos with Flacco with the deep ball. Oh, that makes five. sense. Okay, what, well, the Browns are picking at what position? Seven? Broncos, not Browns. Yeah. What, 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 Broncos what do they pick? Ten. Six, seven? No, they pick seven, eight. Broncos are number ten. Oh, they're the tenth pick. Okay. So you said, oh, you said DK's going to be the first wide receiver off the board then? Yeah, he'll be the first one. Okay. The Jaguars will get Hawkinson because Nick Foles needs his Zach Ertz. Damn it. Okay. <sighs> I know. I want him so freaking bad. I know. Hawkinson fits what we do so perfect. Okay. Who else? A.J. Brown's gone to the Redskins because they got uh, Case Keenum. Yeah. Marquise Brown's gone to the Ravens. Hakeem Butler's gone to the Colts. And Nikhil Harry will go to the Patriots. <laughs> that sounds about right, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, but you know, Belichick, is he really going to go for a receiver in the draft? He likes to seem to fish around in free safety for his receivers. Every year, he makes a fool out of some GM and makes some kind of weird deal, 
and brings in some of the best free, some of the best wide receivers in football have been through uh, New England. It's amazing. But maybe not. And unfortunately, Raiders will get fanned. Nah. Second round, you mean? Raiders are not going to get a four. You think the Raiders are going to get a wide receiver in the first round? 27th pick. No, tight end. I mean, tight end? Oh, in the second round. Wait a no, minute. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Pick. If Fant's available, they got to wait for us to pick. No, they're gonna, they have twenty number 27 pick. Oh, in the first round. They got three. That's numbers. right. They can yeah. afford to use that for the – Yeah. Wait a minute. You're saying they're going to pick up DK. Wait, who's picking up? DK's going to be picked Broncos up by the Broncos. Okay, yeah. Okay. All right. That makes sense, actually. I got to tell you, uh, Hulk. It does. Because uh, they got rid of their tight end in Oakland. Uh, the guy's been doing a great job for years, yeah. and for some reason, they don't want him anymore. I guess because he's 31. I wouldn't mind him, though. Yeah, well. As I mentioned to me yesterday, I said, you know, well, the 49ers, he's probably got two solid seasons in him. Mean, he was great last year. And with Jimmy G and Kittle <laughs> and all the other distractions the 49ers are going to have out on the field, between Tevin, Jarek, man, I, oh, he would probably flourish. He'd have to. Yeah. Dante? Well, we'll see. Because the 49ers may have this already. We, they may be way ahead of us on this. So. All right. What else? And I don't know what we're going to do because I, I think I blocked that part out in case we do get Bosa. So. I know. <laughs> I, you know, if you didn't know, <coughs> Hulk does not appreciate anything that's going on at Ohio State, including Nick Bosa. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, well, hey, well, Hulk, I mean, but what about y- you like Verrett? Yeah, I like Verrett. I was. Yeah. I was looking at some video of him, probably the five games he's played. But I know, right? Five I, games. I watched when he was shutting down Antonio Brown. That game what? like in 2014 or whatever it was. I love to hear Antonio's uh, response to that. Man, come on, man. Y'all, you, no, he didn't. And I tell you something else. Was, ben was pissing ben, me off back then, I too. Think, he wouldn't throw me the ball. I think <laughs> Ben wasn't playing then, though. I think he was, uh, when he raped that girl, you know, Ben Rapersberger. It was uh, Michael Vick <laughs> throwing to him. So, oh, was he out? That was both yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I can't wait to see what happens in Oakland. I really can't. Well, Hulk, I guess I guess we'll go ahead and wait for you on Sunday uh, to come in with the pink chiffon. And is that yellow or pink that you like to wear? That's a yellow chiffon. It, it's yellow. Yeah, yeah it's yellow. and uh, to match the big gold lettering across the, the perforated shirt, so you can. Tear it off. <laughs> and we'll see you. We'll see you Sunday, Hulk. All right. All right, shout out to my Hulk fan club. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a good night. Um, and let us go and check out Niner Vegas. Says, according to Al Sacco, one of my favorite guys, something is happening with our running back. Uh, he said, stay tuned. Wonder what it is. And he's probably talking about Jarek, isn't he? Because Kyle doesn't want to show his hand. I got a feeling we're, we're suffering a setback there. And Tevin to the rescue. Dimitri Tyler says Williams takes the D-line to the next level. Yeah, that's true. And I guess, Dimitri, that's what you're talking about when you're talking about Solomon Thomas's replacement, huh? Because I, I, that discussion's already been had, too. That's a real deal. If the 49ers feel like it depends on what Chris Kosorek said in his evaluation of Solomon Thomas, if he came back to John and says, I got to tell you guys, he's going to be a good football player, but he's probably never going to be a great football player due to certain uh, limitations in his, his athletic ability. But he can give you some service, and he could be pretty good, but don't look for him to be a pro bowler. John Lynch, I get to see John Lynch's face. What? <laughs> John! I don't know, John. He was your he was your bro though at school. I understand that classmate though. Uh, Chad Garrison, the myth. The, <laughs> thanks, Chad. <laughs> Antonio Kidd. Hey, Rumble and Niner Empire, we looking damn good, ready to draft and season go. Niners! Chad Garrison, all these signs, right? When the weather is gorgeous here in the Bay D Ford, probably like, hell yeah, I like this. Kansas City weather. 
less than San Francisco weather. Kansas City gets crazy hot in the summertime, I'll bet, though. See, we don't ever get crazy hot. You can go, hey, well, you can go to Marin County and East Bay parts, go ahead and drive it in Antioch That's and Concord all and all those places. It gets hot out there, though. Hey, oh, live, yeah, I live, yeah. are you living out in, uh, in, in one of those Marin County or any place? Am I what? <laughs> I was I was talking about hot hot spots inland of San Francisco. Oh, you're oh you're in VA. Boy, I know it gets hot out in Virginia. But you guys get some ridiculous heat in the summertime, don't you? <laughs> oh, I, I think our heat is like tenfold to yours because we have the like Bangkok, Thailand humidity here. <laughs> oh, Louisiana. Hey, have you been down to yeah, Louisiana? It's horrible. Oh, that's just ridiculous. It's like you got to walk around yeah. with a, a, a de- dehumidifier in a suit within a, in that dehumidifier, man. I'm talking moist. You can just yeah. feel yourself. You got, oh, my, I need yeah. a shower. I just took one 15 minutes ago. <laughs> but, yeah. Bravo. Mm. And the heat of the tight head, you walk around with a squeegee and a spawn to wipe your <laughs> face off. <That's> it. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy that weather on occasion, though. Hey, but Linwood, uh, you, you you kept uh, uh, Raheem Mostert, uh, and also we re-signed Zioto. So it was pretty much a, a depth signings today. And, yeah, the, uh, the comeback players, the yeah. special team comeback yeah. players, because they figured out it's like there's no place like home. <laughs> yeah. There's no yeah. place like home, and we needed them. And I'm I'm glad to have them back because they were they were a really special part of this team. And I think they realized they tested the free agency and it's like, see if we could get big money. And I'm sure they had some little contacts here and there for some other teams, but they wanted to be part of greatness mm. because greatness is coming. Mm-hmm. And, and I strongly believe in that. Greatness is coming. Yes, indeed. But you know, who was that? Went, oh, Zilch went out to Buffalo. And I, he probably was sitting in the walk down from his park and from the car into the uh, building. Whew. How do you people stay out here, man? Listen, I know I came out here to see if we could talk things over, but I'm going to tell you what. I'm No. Okay, thanks, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> the groundhog doesn't even show up in Buffalo. He ain't, I said, you know, you guys want to see my shadow. I'm going to tell you right now, it won't be in Buffalo. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's like, you got to wait two months. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna wait. Hey. But what are you thinking? Linwood, because, like, I'm moving forward, man. Uh, do you think we're okay with Jared McKinnon? Now reports are coming out there. I'm talking about trading uh, Matty B for guys like Nelson Aguilar. 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 I don't, I don't like that. Um, I don't so, like you know. that either. But we do we do have a, a, a huge stable yeah. of running backs. Yeah. And, 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 and I'm like looking back at today's uh, – Transactions out of the blue. Miami just gets rid of their starting quarterback. Limit, <laughs> how bad do you have to hate your quarterback? You don't even have one yet. Just, you know what? Just yeah. get out. Just get out. Goes back just, in, yeah, it goes back into what I was saying uh, yesterday when I was talking to you. Miami. Well, who else did they lose? Frank Gore, right? Right. They're rebuilding. From Miami. But you got to yeah, have so a they quarterback. Need a running back. So they need a running back. And a quarterback, and we got multiple running backs and a second round draft pick. Well, you, you give them, is, is also uh, Nick Mullins on his way to Miami? I mean, what are they going to do? Uh, I wouldn't say Nick Mullins. I would say mm, they might make CJ. a deal or trade. Yeah. They might make a deal or trade for a running back, but they might want to move up and get our second round pick. I mean, there's there's three teams out there to me that just. Minus the Giants, Miami, Denver, Bengals. Jump out to me as they need a quarterback. Do you think Denver's going to go ahead and get another uh, quarterback? That would antagonize. Well, they you just need got. To. They you know, need I, to. Mean, I mean, you just got Flacco. Yeah, but he's, you know. He's not going to. And Flacco's going to sit there saying, been a God, I just, like, oh, we're going to bring you in. Baltimore oh. made you a backup. Well, we brought you in to be a backup too, and grew the rookie we're going to bring in. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You never know. I mean, uh, no, yeah, really, because Flacco's not a franchise mind. quarterback. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Oh, we groom you to be. You started for like a week or two, but we're going to groom, let you groom the pedigree. 
Mm-hmm. But I don't know. They just jump out to me. Number one is the Giants, hands down. But who knows if uh, the Arizona Cardinals already got a trade set in place. They didn't make a lot of noise in the preseason, but they could after oh. the math and get multiple picks. Then what? You know who really has a problem evaluating quarterbacks? It's going to be Elway that's going to make that trade. He's going to call exactly. John up and say, John, listen, you know how badly, and yeah, you owe me, John. I'm going to start, hey, 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 John, what do you want? Okay, I don't owe you, but anyway, what do you want? I want to know if I can have that number two pick. I need a quarterback. You know I need a quarterback, all right? Help me out here, John. You know, you, come on now. You got Adam Peters. You got some other things for me. Let's go. <laughs> start pressuring him, <Yeah>. right? <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's great that the 49ers and John Lynch and that crew are, are brilliant because they went in yeah. and they touched base on all the top needs that we need. Yeah. Well, those guys know so what they're they, doing. They have all the leverage, yeah. all the leverage. They have all this. All right, well, we, well, we addressed the defensive end. We get a D4 at 80-something million. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, you know, we went and got a slash, slash corner. We went in and got – we got the, the big – uh, linebacker, wide receiver need for the red zone. Yeah. We went and got the linebacker, yeah. and we re-signed Malcolm Smith. Hopefully, he's healthy. Oh, I he's that, a beast that, that really when bothers healthy, me. I hope he beast. does. Jesus, Linwood, I'm, Jimmy Ward. Oh, yeah, <laughs> he just got to stay ahead, healthy. I'm still supporting Jimmy. Then we've got to go though. Yeah. Time's up. Um, you know, I'll look for you Sunday, and see what else the Forty Nine is going to do next. Because it seems like they're not going to take a day off here. So we'll see. It seems that way, and mm. and I'm with you, Ron, bro. I think they're trading back. We only have six picks. Safety isn't going to be one of them. I, I feel really strong uh. with the safety class that we have because everybody yeah. forgets that we have a – they try to convert. We have a six two four three speed guy back there. Trey mm. Moore. Yeah. They can put it back in a safety slot. Yeah. We're going to hey, see. Hit those likes, fam. Hit hey, those likes, fam. Thank you, Rombo. <laughs> everybody <laughs> have a good night. Have a good night. And I, I noticed I got somebody here. Who's on a Galaxy Note 9? Is it AJ? That is AJ. I could tell the way he's chewing. AJ's always having something to eat or he's fixing something to eat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> AJ! What up, man? You are What's Jay? going on with you? Oh, man. We're sitting hey. there watching the Fortnite manipulate that roster. You know what happened today, well, right? Um, Yeah, I think they had a... Um, some changes, and I think uh, Miami. Um, I think I shot you a little something, something but on the, um, the IG. But I think they're gonna try to get um, Kyle Murray, um, Miami. That'd be a good fit for them. Wait, wait, wait. I think. Wait, wait, wait. You, you, you think Miami? You think the Cardinals don't mind dropping down to pick number? Miami's got what number 11, 12, 13? Where are they at? Yeah, they got like twelve or something like that. They got about you, twelve. You, you think they don't mind dropping down to uh, that far hey. to get their first round? Because the thing is, I don't think – AJ, you don't think they want Kyler Murray because you're in Arizona. What are you hearing? There must be some little leaks running around town because Kyler Murray's – you might see him right now walking around the streets of Arizona uh, if you're near Phoenix or whatever because he's over there now getting wined and dined by the Cardinals. I guess they wanted to make sure everybody knows about that. It could be a smoke screen. But uh, Kyler Murray is It like, could be. Yeah, I don't know. It could be, man. Because Josh think, Rosen ain't um, in. I think um, at the end of the day, boss, they're going to need a lot. But I think that that's where um, Arizona and uh, Miami might do a little switcheroo. I mean, because Arizona still got Josh Rosen, and I think he's good enough for what they what they have. Like, he's still he's still young. Why, why, oh, why see, would they get a quarterback? Okay, now I see what you're talking about. Now, I could see him doing that. I could see Arizona say, we got rid of Tannehill, uh, so you you know we're right. not going to sit here and make you uh, – I mean, we're not going to mess with you. Please. We ain't gonna mess Give us with you. Rosie. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, man, I'm just I'm just chilling, posted up right now. I'm supposed to be out hanging out, and whatnot. But I figured, let me call in and see what's good with what I'm doing. Ah, this sucks, on. AJ, man. It's hanging out. What's early? You know, you got still rest of the evening. You can act up. Got plenty of time to act fool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You right. And then uh, yesterday, I know I didn't get a chance to holler at you on that, but I know somebody was uh, doing a IGGG. On the on the, uh, on the on the they were calling in some kind of random crap. I was kind of surprised, and then of course a lot of Raider fans was getting through. You had a yeah. like, tough day with the little uh, with the little 
podcast situation. Huh? Ay, no, we, we have those now on occasion. You know, a lot of these people are feeling antagonized in the fact that the 49ers, they know good and well we shouldn't have did as bad as we did last year. So now it's time to come and mess with us. And also, you have to understand, the Raiders have climbed back up on the horse. They got Antonio. Uh, they got Lamar Joyner from the Rams. Uh, yeah. They picked up yeah. another dude, too, of, of, of essence. And so the Raiders are feeling like, oh, yeah, we, we, let's have a rematch the Battle of the Bay. No, no. It's, we, we the Kings, Raiders. That's it. Uh, I, but do you, do you agree, though? Because I was kind of talking about Raiders. People in the comment section was like hating on me because I was speaking on um, the Raiders. But I'm a Niner for life. They better recognize. Mm. But uh, they, as you can see, you know. Well, uh, I was thinking, man, you know, the fact that the Raiders got so many good picks. And my question was, again, do you think our mindset as a GM, he think he's quick to um, spoil us with this uh, situation or is he going to spoil the moment with uh, having all these injured players? I mean, I like Barrett. I think he a dog. I think he, de- he decent. I like some other picks that he made. But, I mean, it's just free agency, so I'm not jumping the gun. I'm just curious to what you think the GM, is he going to be uh, one of your uh, uh, bulky type of situations going? With your, with your, you, know, no, you think he's going to be a bring- bulky? Trent was bringing kids in out of the draft, though. You know what? I got a feeling, though. You, you look at Marcel Harris, none of Trent's picks ever came out. Marcel Harris came to us last year. He was hurt, and he looked like the bomb. I mean, Kwaski Tizko had some trouble beating that kid out. You look at Catavia Street, I don't know what he's going to look like, but we'll find out soon. And Verrett. Catavia Street? Catavia, yeah. yeah. Uh, he'll be back this season. And then when I... I look at Verrett, I say, man, if the 49ers bingo and that dude could stay, because he's not hurt now, but he has been, and he's got a history, a bad history of being hurt. If he stays healthy, H.A., do you know that throwing on the 49ers will be a huge risk? And you combine that with that front-line defensive rush that we haven't had since, who was, man, I, you got to go back to when George W. Bush Jr. was president. So, you know, <laughs> that's why I, I – <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think they could be tough. That's why I'm saying don't look for a lot of downhill bombs this year because the quarterback is not going to have time to wait for them long routes to uh, to develop. So I kind of like what they're trying to get with that. The, the wide receiver uh, we got now, Williams is his last name. William, he was from um, Philadelphia. What was his name? Last name, William? Uh, Matthews. Like no, Jordan Matthews. Matthews, Matthews. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I think Streeter going to get beat by him just based on what his skill set is. I think – because, I mean, isn't Streeter – Streeter, a uh, what second round time? I mean, second year in our in our um, on our squad as a Niner. Was you talking about Dunbar? No, I think you talk about Dunbar. Well, Streeter's the guy oh, we had with Chip, uh, when Chip Kelly was with us. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Man, no, you talk so about Dunbar. You out, Dunbar's a tall kid. Uh, he's not going to beat Jordan out. No, Dunbar's probably seen his last days with the 49ers, My guess. Uh, so if so they want to keep a, to check a, out J- go ahead. Jerry Porter, Jerry Porter, you get a chance to check out Jerry Porter, that dude out there on the old, like O two when um when um Gruden Chucky was uh basically <laughs> still in you know still in, in uh, Raiders with the Raiders. Yeah, you, yeah. You you said his name is Porter. I mean, uh, yeah, a Jerry coach? Porter. Check it out on um. No, nah, he's a wide receiver. He basically said he he didn't like. Uh, he didn't like Chucky's. Uh, he was abrasive. Attitude. I love abrasive. Mm-hmm. He said he almost. <laughs> yeah, that's what he. So I'm just, that's I mean, I like that. Don't get me wrong. I like that. Let, let him fight. Let him go. Let him have implode. I don't. I don't give a damn. But I was just. Mm-hmm. Inter- I was just interested in the pickup he did. I ain't gonna lie. They got a B. A B's a dog. He's a beast. And then they got the other cat. Um, that was really good. Trent Brown. I, I was like, I was oh, that's who it is. Trent. Yeah. I, I miss. Yeah, Trent Brown, man. We should have kept him. I don't give a damn. Lamar Joyner. Yeah, I'm kind of he's, in my face. I, I, yeah, man, we I, got screwed on that. Yeah, I don't, you know, I, as I say, I really wish I knew the full story on that. That was they did that like it was done, like we got to get him out of here type of thing. So I don't know what happened there. That don't make no sense, especially for somebody with that kind of talent. AJ, I tell you what, man, we, we ran out of time here, and uh, okay, boss. Hey, AJ, you way, have I, that, I, have I, that figure, good evening you got planned. Have a good time with it. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I had to. I had to figure this out because I had an iPhone for a minute, right? And then I had switched from iPhone to back. Now I got a Galaxy Note 9. I was like, damn, I didn't know how to do this Zoom, really. Because I, I I think I didn't dial. I just uh, downloaded the app real quick, Zoom, and then I just thought I can jump on. But then I had Look to actually you, call you, in. 
you just got them high tech skills. I said, maybe it's just a piece of cake for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a piece of cake, man. All right, Playboy. Hey, hey, guys, I'll talk to you, man. I'm gonna look right, in. Looking for your Sunday. Thanks, yep. fam. Yeah. It's AJ. <laughs> Go on. Let's, yeah. And now, he hails from the great state of Florida. Coming in tonight at 275 pounds at 6'4", of nothing but rock-solid muscle, he is Mike the Hitman Hard! <laughs> Mike, you know, I got a four, y'all, that I really enjoy doing the intro. <laughs> Big Show, man! Hey, I Give me that fun tonight, Big Show. I'll be looking for you later. But go ahead, Mike. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I enjoy hearing the intro, Rumble. I love yeah. it, bro. <laughs> Oh, well, Mike. What do you think, man? Now, now you've had time to ch- take out all every day so far of this hustle. What are you thinking? First thing, man. Big shout out to Brother Rumble and to the whole Heart Foundation. Um, it's a couple things on my mind, man. First, I just want to say this time last year, I remember a large segment of Niner callers on this show. You know, was so adamant about not getting Derwin James, right? Yeah. Now. They want a safety. Now they want Earl Thomas. You know, and it's funny because my question is, how do people go from we have Adrian Colbert, we're comfortable with him, to bashing him after, like, the first two or three weeks of the season mm-hmm. to now sending one Earl Thomas? Mm-hmm. You know, had you had if you're so adamant about being against Derwin James, so so strong about this time last year, why are you later are you saying you want a safety now? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. it's, just, it's just ironic because last year – you remember Raymond got blasted by a lot of these people. They know who they are. And now they're the same people who are blasting him saying we don't need a safety are now saying we need a safety. Mm. This, this is like crazy, man. But anyway, I'm glad with Mike McGlinchey personally. Um, I, I, I like Mike McGlinchey. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't mad at that pick, so I just want to make that clear. I'm not mad with Mike McGlinchey. I'm just saying Derwin James was also a party because we needed a safety then. And now people are coming around a year later. So hearing all these callers, talk about it's, it's almost like every year it's the same thing people got these guys they like they they say we don't get this guy we don't we got to do this we got to do that bottom line is last year yeah. we uh we, we're building up but we still got holes like last year we still got other needs mm. so whatever direction we go i personally ain't mad I'm, I'm looking at um what is the highest priority of our team a lot of people saying edge rusher um for the most part and that that you know i agree with that uh, I'm not really locked into no one guy, but I am uh, wanting to address as many holes as we can. So uh, my ideal dream, Rumbo, I know this sounds crazy. I would like to get a – I wish we can have a couple first-round picks if we can get – like if, if we don't get Allen or, or Bosa for some strange reason and we trade back, mm. you know, uh, I would love to get those Giants two picks and have a six and a seventeen. That way we're still high enough to get, you know, an edge rusher. And I want that kid from Iowa to tight end. Oh, which one, Font um, or Hawkinson? Yeah. Because you, uh, you know they, they, they got two that are just really uh, elite. Yeah, like I said, I'm not really stuck on no player. Like, I'm not a Hawkinson fanatic or, or uh, any other player fanatic. But as far as the position of need, hmm. um, we, we have more holes to fill than just a uh, – edge rusher and tight end. I mean, we still need a guard, you know, for future, obviously. We still need some, you know, we could use some more safety help. Been saying that for a whole year now. Everybody mm. finally coming around. Um, you know, so there's other other positions that we can we can use for sure. But I know Hawkinson is a, it's another George Kittle. I believe that. Mm. And, um, man, if we was able to get, like, a nice edge rusher, I, I don't really think we have to get an elite edge rusher per se. You know, we Not can get now. edge rusher who can do their job. Right. Yeah, because we got Ford on one side. Mm. We still need to get edge rusher, but it's it's so deep in this first round. Whether you get the, the, the cream of the crop at the top that's advertised on paper or the guys that people might be looking at as like might not be so good, but then they might potentially just blossom in the league. It's, it's like nine or ten edge rushers off the top of the head. You can say, hey, I can get a guy. So it's deep. So, um, you know, we'll see what we do, man. Either mm-hmm. way. I'm, I'm excited about the season coming up, and uh, I'm not one of these guys, like I said, that's going to panic if we don't get Bosa. A lot of people, <laughs> from what I'm hearing, is they're so Bosa. Uh, Bosa or Bosa so much. Yeah, yeah and I, I mean, that's 
again, man, these are the same people last year talking about they ain't want Durbin James because he's injury prone and all this <laughs> stuff. And now they're talking about they want a safety. Like, man, this, this, hey, every year it's the same thing, man. Was Derwin James considered injury prone last year? You you had a few callers that have – he's not injury prone to me, but you had some callers who, who said he was injury prone. The man got hurt, um, you know, out for a season. But injury prone to me means you have reoccurring injuries over and over. He got hurt one time. And he was out for the season, but he came you'll back be, and he you, played that's, the that's whole you. season. That's you. That's who year. you are. You got to get. You know, it's the same thing's been said about Bosa. Uh, a lot of people think stay away from Bosa. He all, he's always hurt. And and just like you're pointing out now, you know, this is a game of luck. You see, Eric Armstead didn't play but one season so far with us, and last year was his season. It's like Lynch says. Somehow, sometimes these things happen, and guys come out and they don't get hurt again for long periods of time. So you know, you can't insist upon the history of a player to make a judgment on him. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, man, I, if you look at the whole time, Rambo, when I call and I say things and people got all this stuff to yap about, the following year they come around saying the same damn thing me, Raymond, and others, you know, have said. And it's just it's just funny, man. At this point, I, I just let people talk, let their emotions mm-hmm. come out, and then when the season's over, they come around. Because uh, a lot of these all- people were... And it's always going to be like that, too. But, Mike, we got to stop. Uh, I'm a, yeah. And this time next year, it's going to be the same thing. I'm telling you, man, it's coming up next year as well. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because we are getting Hey, man, here. you know, Rambo, I said it earlier, got to go. I honestly, I enjoy the Niner talk, man. I, I let people do what they do. As, as long as at the end of the day, man, we all understand we're not an empire and respect each other, I'm all good. People's opinions, man. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So much much love to everybody, man. It's all good. But good. Let's, just, let's just trust the process, man. We, we're getting there. You know, hopefully we make the playoffs this year. I hope so. Boy, it's it's so time. All right, Mike. Great to hear from you. Looking forward to hearing from you again soon now. Sunday, be back. Looking for you. All right. All right, brother. We'll take care, man. All right, Mike. Have a good night. You too, buddy. All right. Uh, hey, hey, it's Kenny. Kenny, thank you so much. Kenny. So, Jada Ferguson, just as good or better than Bosa or Allen. 17.5 17.5 sacks, a 4-3 defensive end, can can trade trade out of top 10 and get him. You know, Combine hated on him just singing. I hate that. You know what, Kenny? There you go. What did he do? It was something really silly, minor, I thought. I just hope those kind of things, if the 49ers do see him sitting there, maybe third round, maybe everybody's going to say he's got character issues or whatever. Ferguson is... He's, Wow, that's a, he's that's a real talent. All right. Let's see. Hey, 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 Demetrius. Rambo. Demetrius. What up, Rambo? Man, Demetrius, we we're just sitting here trying to figure out. Uh, and you know, the, now that we're heading Stay toward the draft, the first round pick is going to be the track. conversation all the time now. Because this time last year, everybody knew who was picking up in the first round. It, it was the battle of the linebackers. That kid they got over in Chicago versus the one they have mm-hmm. over in Buffalo, right? Everybody picked a side. Mm-hmm. A few <laughs> people picked a safety. Uh, you know, there was a Derwin James camp. There was the... I forget these guys' names already. But, you know, it's pretty funny. We're starting to divide up now. So, Demetrius, mm-hmm. pick your camp. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be without a camp. Damn. You got to get in one. It's like gang warfare. <laughs> Damn, my you head. can't walk the street I by yourself. Going on. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. We, we do need a safety. <laughs> we need a safety, Ron. Excuse me. Could be. I'm thinking. We need a safety, man. Yeah. Maybe in the know, late round or something, we could trade up and get one. I, yeah. I just was looking at some uh, highlights on one. His dude name is Nasser Adderley out mm. of Delaware. Yeah, don't he look good? He reminds me of uh, uh yeah, he reminds me of like a young girl, Thomas. Yeah. A little bit. He's been compared you know to mean? him. Good player. Yeah. You know what I mean? Flexibility, like quickness, but, a lot of pursuit. We we fast. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Pretty good. <laughs> but we just we got to hit home runs, man. Right. We got to get that edge rusher, first of all. We have to. Right. There's no ifs, ands, buts about it. We've been all oh, year about it. Teams was running on us. Like, shit was crazy this year. So we got to, like I said, man, we got to do what's best for the team. Man. Yeah. yeah. Priori- prioritize first. <laughs> you know well, what I mean? Well, you know what? 
at least that's going to be a full force front end now. It's not going to be a, a one arm man because I always call it a one arm man when you know you're fighting with your left side. And they don't have a, a guy coming off the edge. We've not had a guy coming off the edge like D Ford in years. So now you do. Yeah. What if you get another guy like that? See, because mm-hmm. this, this defense is designed, it has to have all push up the middle, push off the sides. You're not going to win with just yeah. push up the middle. Because the quarterback could just lean to his left or right or whichever way he wants to go. If you allow him an avenue, you're going to beat him. But if that defense is full, mm-hmm. full go on every, every point, uh oh. Because now your quarterback's yeah, nah, in trouble. For real, cause, yeah, that's how another caller said, like, I think the other night he was talking about Seattle's defense in the early Legion of Boom days. Like, that's how they had it, the front Devastating. four. Devastating. Then they had the linebackers causing havoc. And then and they couldn't run. You had the DBs. And mm-hmm. they, they couldn't, the quarterback couldn't throw the ball because mm-hmm. what? He had everybody getting after him. Yeah, so hurry his ass It made up. them look extra good. Yeah. You and then, I mean? and then you so, got the DBs for, in coverage like that. And now that's why I mean? they like them long in Seattle. The quarterback mm-hmm. is a little concerned about the length of those guys out there. And can they reach? If I try to thread that window real tight, is that six two dude going to lean in and snatch it? It's 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 a mind thing, you know. So yeah, yeah. You see what I noticed too with our cornerbacks too. Like they play off the ball too much. Like man, I don't see them jamming their receiver. Like if you look yeah. at a color with a spoon, he's playing like damn near ten yards off the ball. He, they don't get so, it. A, a, a receiver could wear a, he can run a quick out or whatever quick slant. Quick like they're not never on the ball. In. Yeah, they they exactly. didn't really get they're it. They're never on the ball. Yeah, they didn't yeah, get it. It was never on the ball. I, I I never understood that. And I'm like, you're still getting burnt. And you're like yeah. ten yards off the ball. Like they were doing it wrong. I didn't understand it. Yeah, they were doing it wrong. Yeah, they, were just, they were supposed to jump route. You do that. You know what though? You're supposed to be able to judge. Okay, if the guys, you can't give them so much. You should be able to feel that out by the first three snaps of the game. How much can I give this guy, mm-hmm. and how much should I measure him? Okay, you know, sure. if you haven't figured that out by the third or fourth snap, you're messing up. Wait. The quarterback knows you're not aware yeah. of how much of a distance you should gap because you're supposed to be setting up also strategies also to jump route. But you got to be physical coming off that line. You cannot let the guy just zoom past you. Now you got to spin gotta, around. You got to bump him. You got to, yep. Yeah. You got to jam him, do what you got to do. That's what I understand about this year. Like, damn, they look soft. Like, <sighs> I ain't seen no aggressiveness, none of that. But Scared. Hopefully they, they get it right, doing. man. We need, yeah, that's what I was talking about before, man. We need speed and power. And I'm yeah. still, I'm still, uh, candidating for my dude, man, Raheem Bingham. I'm candidating for him, man. Mm-hmm. I'm on that train. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? No homo. Like, real talk. I'm up with Joe Woods. Other than that, Ron Boy, that, yeah. yeah well, that, I mean, I'm sorry, Train Rambo, those guys how this, but Jeff Halfley's terrible. So let, let's see what Woods does with him, <laughs> you know? God. Yo, we, we need to get this dude from AAF or wherever he at. Damn, <laughs> Mike Singletary, bring him back, teach them how to do how to tackle, man. I think those were the best years they would learn how to tackle. Man. Hey, like, but talk, did, you, did you play ball? Okay. If I played, the, yeah, I did. Okay. I played cornerback and uh, okay. wide receiver uh, you in high school. Uh, hey, but check this out. Do you think somebody needed to teach you how to tackle by the time you got to college? I mean, if you well, don't know how to tackle, no. I always say people say, coach, they teach him how to tackle. Damn, not the dude got to this level and he don't know how to tackle? That don't make no sense. You, you, you know, Rambo, so what why, the coach used to say, man, mm-hmm. if he ain't got your color on, light, <clears throat> light his ass up. Right. You know what I mean? I, <laughs> if you got the kind of football aggression, coach ain't got to teach me how to technique on no tackle. By the time I was a senior in high school, yeah, yeah. I knew how to take a dude down. If I missed a tackle, I wasn't it's looking real, at him. Man. I was looking at me. Not at all. Yeah. That's... Head across the barrel, man. Light they yeah. ass up. You know what I mean? I, so, I, I know, Rambo, but yeah, excuse me for coughing all crazy. I got a little cold and all that. Maybe okay. In the okay. New York. <laughs> cold, snow. Today it was 70 degrees out the blue. Tomorrow going to be in the 30s, man. That shit oh, that's crazy. up and down. That's crazy. <laughs> the reason we had a time, Fip. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the reason I see you, uh, see you Sunday if you get some time, huh? Yes, sir, Rambo, man. Look at that kid, man. He's nice, man. Now, still Adderley, man. I, you, oh, I, you, I got you heard it. of him? I know about Nasser. Oh, okay, uh, okay. I heard about the comparison nice. between Murray Earl and everything. I know. I, I'm suggesting him, yeah, yeah. and I'm thinking the 49ers just may surprise us all and grab him. We'll see. Uh, I hope so, man. You have a blessed night, Rumble. You too. 49 Empire, man. Everybody do what you do. Have a safe night, man. One. Uh, he laughs. Appreciate you, Demetrius. Appreciate you, fam. Have a good night. Yeah. Hey, and Vader says, it's time. It's time. 
It's not a time, 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 time. Vader, you like the players? Uh, Vader says you love the players. Is Vader, Vader ain't on the phone yet, huh? Uh, True that 76er fan. Yo, what up? Philly in the house. Rod Mo, give me a shout out. Of course I will. True that 76 fan. Niners! Coach says, remember Davenport had more sacks than anyone last year. Uh, looked like a beast. Davenport, the kid that got drafted last year, with, isn't he playing with the Saints? Uh, but what did he do this year? Not much. Guys that play small schools and get shell-shocked by the NFL uh, OTs. They got to learn to be a pro. It takes time, but it can happen even with the small school pass rushers. Yeah. Yeah. And Slick, Slick 68, it says a Kello kid could pick Verrett and Sherman's brain to master that corner spot. See, I like that. I, I, I want him in a position that if Verrett does do the Verrett, that a Kello can step right in there and be impressive. Because Verrett's only got a one year contract. If a Kello comes in and beats him out, that's so be it. That's the way it goes. Curtis McLeod says, a he says, YouTuber Brett Coleman just posted a video comparing Nick Bosa to Joey Bosa. Check it out. It's pretty good. See, thank you, Curtis. I'm going to go check that out. Because I've heard the stories, the legend, the myth. I thought it was an urban fairy tale of some kind. I'm looking at Joey Bosa and I'm like, damn. I said, I, I didn't know why. I, I know Joey was good, but I didn't know why he beat number, the number one overall pick, right? I'm watching, can't do a dang thing with Joey. I'm so, okay, now I get it. And they say that Nick is better? GT. FOH, really? Oh. Hey, hey, Justin. How are you doing, sir? Justin, man, we're just sitting here kicking around the 49ers stuff, you know what I'm saying? What's going on with you, man? Are you, are you enjoying what's going on there in Santa Clara? I'm a little bit nervous because, you know, when we uh, when I saw that re-sign for three-year deal for Morset, I'm like, uh-oh, one of the running backs is in, up for trading block. That's the one thing that came to my head because Ooh. I do not see us having four running backs on the active roster on the first day of uh, – yeah, I, I do not see that happening at all. They're not even talking about Jeff uh, Wilson, are they? <laughs> I guess. Yeah, that's the thing. We got five. We got five. So, like, it's like, who's going to be traded? I know for sure they won't treat Brita because they need Brita. Yeah, he's the workhorse, supposedly. That's going to be his role. He's going to be the Devontae Freeman uh, in this lineup. Most of it could be the, the, but the next But they're talking Devontae about Freeman. that trade to uh, Philadelphia. They're talking about that trade to Philadelphia, McKinnon and uh, freaking, what's his name, Trent Taylor to Philadelphia. And Trent Taylor? Both of them? Uh-huh. That's wow. what they're talking for freaking, uh, what's his name? That Nelson? receiver from Philadelphia. I forget his name. You said what, a wide receiver? Yeah, um, Nelson, Al- Nelson Aguilar. Nelson whatever. Aguilar? Yeah, Aguilar. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, maybe Kyle, you know what you know what Kyle is? He may like that kid for some reason. Nelson misses the ball too much for me. We got plenty of that going on. We we had plenty of that going on all while Jimmy was out. I don't know, know why he'd be so more appealing. I like Dante Pettis, and I don't see him all that much better. I, maybe they see something because of experience. That's too much to give mm-hmm. up for Aguilar. If I'm going to give up something, it be a draft pick maybe and somebody else. We're not giving up yeah. that much talent. We'll see. Yeah, I I. I. I see. I, I don't. I don't understand what the hype between between a Quinn and Williams from Alabama. I don't understand the hype. Like I really don't get it. Like I look at his play and I, he does not fit our scheme. He does not fit our scheme at all. Like I like I just don't get. Like I don't understand how to. I don't understand how you could take with it. With a it second it's round you, pick, it, it's where you match tackle. him up at. It's where you put him. You, you put the the thing I'm sure is you put a kid like that next to DeForest Buckner, he immediately creates. A problem where now, if you've been doubling up on Buckner, this would be a dangerous idea. He has the quickness to get to the quarterback, uh, as well as the strength, right? So I think that's what they're thinking when people say that about him. Um, other than that, yeah, mm-hmm. I, yeah, that's the thinking there, I guess. I, I I do not see us training Nick Mullins at all. I do not see us training Nick Mullins. Nick no, Mullins, not. he server he. He reserved a spot for backup. Anything we trade CJ Beffer, that's it. Like, I, like if they trade Nick Mullins, they'd be the stupidest decision ever in history. I don't think they'll do it. You can't do it. You can't. I don't. I don't it leaves you us can't too vulnerable. Do it. And and I, 
Are, but are if we take Nubosa, are you worried that he might pull the same thing his brother did, like hold, yep. like do a holdout where he did uh, like that? That does worry me though. Here comes that rep, whoever reps that family, and him and Pereira are going to be like I could see him in there now breaking into a fist fight, you know? <laughs> because so, I am worried about that. Like he might be like, oh, I don't want that kind of money, and then hold out onto like like Crafter did for us well, uh, when we. It's not him. about the money. There's there's little. Things in the contract of a rookie that I guess can be you can circumvent around them, but I don't know that they should hold up the whole proceeding because of one or two things that says there's got to be there's guarantees from what I understand that uh, the bosses have a problem with should something go wrong. So uh, this is going to be the problem because the money they can offer only goes to a certain level. Your first round pick, your X amount of dollars in the rookie contract. So that's not going to be it. There's some other things though in the in the uh, contract that could be a problem, but I don't know what they could be. I don't know what he was, what Joey's problem was even way back when. I think it was problem was with the money, the guaranteed money, the guaranteed money, and the fact that they wanted him to like I guess something with they wanted him to play through play with tra- play through uh, through preseason, and he didn't want to do preseason because he didn't want to risk any injury. Really. I think that was the issue with Joey, where he was like, oh. he didn't want to risk any injury. After he got, no, that can't be right. Because everybody's got to be out. It's a tryout time. You, you, there's mm-hmm. no such contract that gives you an option with that. It, it had to be something else. Yeah. It may have had something to do with the money, but I think it's one of the small print things. He, no, you he, can't come he, out he, and I say I'm not playing doing preseason. guaranteed money. Yeah, that's the thing. Worry yeah. about me, Bosa. I'm like, I'm excited for Bosa if we get him. But the thing is, I might like, worry he might do the same thing his brother because his brother might get in his head, but like, hey, make sure you ask for more guaranteed money. This and that. And Forty Niners only have like four, I think four thousand, like something like that. Yeah. Like how much? Like I think it's four something we have left. No, no. So that's what yeah, I'm worried about. Like rookie Bosa. contracts. Uh, there's no I, guaranteed money. I it's it's <laughs> then I can't be it. I, I I assure you that's not it. It's something else. There's something to do with. Uh, I think there's something to do with injury, promises and things like that. If I get hurt, something happens. Uh, there's sort of like insurance policies that are that read in such a way where your lawyer. It's going to be the lawyer that goes in and makes the deals too. Uh, the bosses don't have anything to do it, but their lawyer, he's the guy that comes in and sits down for rock. He's the one who looks at every little thing and nitpicks at this, nitpicks at that. Uh, but Bosa's definitely got to show up. Uh, he can't just skip out on preseason. The 49ers will make that call anyway. They'll say whether or not they want him to play during preseason. But he's got to show up. Yeah, well, the Giants want to trade with us on the second-round pick. But, like, the Niners are not budging. I know that for sure. Yeah, well, they really want our second-round pick. The they, Giants? Is there Miami or Giants that won us? Probably Miami. The Giants probably know not to even talk to the 49ers, honestly. I really wish they – you know what? Because the thing is, the Giants went ahead and did us up on Odell Beckham Jr. So I I, I think the Giants know they're not going to get anything. The Raiders either. So <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Well, they're to trying to trade for Rosen right now. The Giants are trying to trade their sixth, uh, first-round pick for Rosen right now. That I could see happening. So, But they're going to go up to the Cardinals for that, though, right? So it's not us. So – Hey, yeah, just one time, so, though. I mean, yes, uh, sir. Let's continue. Let's continue Sunday, huh? Yes, sir. I'll see you Sunday, sir. All right, ma'am. Have a good night. Thank you very yeah. much. You too. Thank you. Uh, and Pap Tester says, uh, how about we trade with the Dolphins? We get their first round, third round, future first round, and Rashad Jones for the second pick of the draft. <laughs> uh, that's... Sometimes I think we expect a lot from other teams. I don't know if they give – would they give up all that? Uh, Michael Pentagon says, if we could get Greedy and Hakeem Butler, I won't say bleep about Salah all year. Yeah, but Hakeem can't help you <laughs> in, in, all, in defense. I think I think Salah's going to get a break this year. He's got the weapons he needs now to make that defense work, which is what I was trying to say. We're going to see what I mean and a lot of other people that, that know what's going on with that defense. You can't play handicapped with that style defense. Everybody's got to be – you can't have a weakness on the edge. you got to have a strong edge. Uh, Cody and Buddy say, I'm so happy I found this. Hey, Cody and Buddy, thanks, fam. Glad to meet you. Matthew Brown, just a friendly reminder on DeAndre Hopkins – uh, to Niners, let it make it happen. I saw something I didn't finish reading today. 
involving DeAndre Hopkins. I couldn't tell if there was a 49ers involved. No, nah, you know, the Texans would be ran out of town if they got rid of DeAndre in his prime. There's no reason for that. Except for last year's playoff, though, huh? It depends on what they got back in return. <laughs> that is the best. I think it's the best one receiver, receiver in the league, actually. Hopkins is a one. I mean, there's nobody can actually cover him. Bashar says Ian Williams thinks Quan will miss way less tackles because he'll be playing with a much better D-line, which makes only sense. Tampa's defense gave up way more rushing yards than that when Alexander was hurt. And poor, I think Quan was out there trying to be a one-man wrecking machine. He ain't got to do that with Fred backing him up. As a matter of fact, Quan's going to be asking, hey, 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 bro, save, save some for Quan now. How many tackles you got this game? <laughs> I can already see that happening, you know. Give me, just, let me have some meat. Hey, hey, DJ. Yo, what's up, Rombo? Uh, DJ, man, we're just sitting here combing through what's going to be up, what's up currently and what's coming up next. And we talk about getting the parade, measuring up on Market Street. Go ahead and figure out what hotel you go check in to. And, uh, hey, what's the Super Bowl in Miami? No. Hey, what's the Super Bowl next year? Is it in Miami? Sure, I don't even know, man. I've just been up on us. Yeah, it is in my uh, in Miami. Anyway, you know, it, it, it's you got to make plans for the playoffs. Because Forty Niners, yeah. well, I tell you what, they stay healthy as bad as they got to be about last year. Forty Niners gonna be scaring people the first five or six games. I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, man. Uh, I I wanted to, I called last night and the night before, but. I think I called too late. Yeah, yeah. And then, you couldn't uh, find the right period yeah, number. I bet we you usually cut that off. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I was. I wanted to call in because I was excited about D four, but not just that. I'm really excited now if we do pick up Bosa because <laughs> um, there's so many packages. I mean, DJ, can you see the yeah. packages including D Ford and Nick? Yeah, that's what I. That's what I mean. I mean, look, you play you play football, right? Mm. You play corner. Yep. So uh, I, I play linebacker. So mm. yeah. Oh, okay. So you were right there in the box too, then. Yeah, sometimes. But yeah. So what? I I remember. I don't know if you remember all the you know the fits and all and the gap gaps mm -hmm. assignments and all that. But mm -hmm. I still remember them, right? Yeah. And you look at it and you think about it, right? You have we're playing wide nine. If we play a wide nine. It's basically outside the tackle, outside shade, nine tech. That's all it is. But it's just going to be a little bit wider. Mm -hmm. And I have a feeling that that's going to be forward, right? Mm -hmm. If he's playing Leo, then he's playing that weak side end. Mm -hmm. And if, if we get him out there into that wide and leave that big-ass gap between him and the and the tackle, mm -hmm. that's what that's going to cause. That, that's basically going to be like a trap, mm -hmm. right? We're going to try to set him up. Mm -hmm. Then we have the wheel linebacker. That's mm -hmm. his. That's his gap assignment. Mm -hmm. And then the mic, which I, which I believe and I'm hoping for, it will be Quan. And I want uh, Warner playing fit. Sam. Yeah. It, if Ooh. he's playing Sam, then you have With his uh, Bosa coming. Bosa will play the yeah. opposite nine tech, and that opposite nine tech is a little bit closer to the to the tackle or the tight end because mm -hmm. if he's going to be on the strong side. He'll be a little bit outside the tight end, but he won't be as wide as Ford is. Now, Ford. And you got a mismatch. His, you got a mismatch right there. If that's a tight end, he's dead. Right. Mate. Yeah. Right, exactly. And he's still and he's still going to be screaming off the edge, kind of like his natural position, mm -hmm. where he's almost like still in that outside shade five tech mm -hmm. on the opposite side, though. So you have D Ford coming from that, that wide ass nine tech, almost in the standing position, but usually. Usually it's coming off of a four point stance, right? Mm. Out there in those wide right none, yeah. And also but standing. Still, uh, what was yeah, that? Go ahead. No, I was okay. just gonna say because it's still kind of like uh, remember when uh, Shallow was in uh, Seattle. Mm -hmm. For what that, what, was it about, one year, two years? Yeah, one or two years. See, but yeah. what he was successful for was they were they they used to come out in this uh formation in the three four stack. Right. And they would he would put out a second Leo on the opposite side, which was mm -hmm. Bruce Irvin. And he had his natural Leo, 
which was um, Clemens, right? Mm -hmm. And they called it the double eagle. And that mm -hmm. double eagle basically meant a double Leo, mm -hmm. cut screaming off the edges. <laughs> and the reason, and he would drop that sound, which is Bruce Irvin. And I feel like if he could do that with us, he oh. can have Warner, who's coming in, who's also 6'3", like Bruce mm -hmm. Irvin was, yep. screaming off the other Leo side. Right. Then you just slide Bosa from that five or that, that other nine tech, slide him in a little bit, go head up with that tackle or that tight end. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's our own. That's another double eagle for us. Miss, you know what I mean? Advantage defense. I, I, I really – and they got get if they don't get rid of the ball quick, that play gets stuffed immediately. Exactly. <sighs> and don't exactly. run. Exactly. Because, look. Don't run. Yeah, don't run. Mm -hmm. Don't run because if our, if our linebackers are playing one gap, Mm. Oh, I see. I see a turnover coming because he's with he's such unpacked, and you cannot have guys like Quan coming in untouched. Kill you, right? <laughs> yeah, if especially, especially if they're playing one gap, Quan's coming in untouched mm. all the time. And that ball—that's what I'm excited for. Man. Yeah, that ball is coming out unless that unless that unless that running back is folding up before Quan gets there, going down. Because if he comes in there trying to run, mm, that impact's gonna be. Cataclysmic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a wrap, man. Ah! It's a wrap. That's why I'm juiced. That's why I called. I was like, man, I got to tell Rambo, man, we might see a different Sala now. I mean, everybody going to be hopping on the Sala train was, yeah, if this gonna, does go the way we want it to go. You know what I mean? Absolutely. He's going to he's gonna be able to manipulate the off defense like you're supposed to be able to. Because last year they were out there trying, they was pleading for guys to be able to do certain things. That they, we're, we're going to be above their capabilities. He gets Quan in there in D4. Now you've already made any weaknesses now. It is not going to be so easy to see. There's so much more that can be done if you've got the strength on the edge. And right. you, Quan, your linebacker's got that. We're talk he ain't Bobby, but you know right. he's, it's, getting, it's getting there. So that's uh, – yeah. DJ, man, let's talk some more later, man. I'm going to tell you what. Bobby, I, yeah, you, you, Bobby's – Richard Sherman still says he can't run, though. <laughs> hey, Bobby, hey, but Bobby said, maybe I couldn't run, but what's that say about y'all? <laughs> uh, uh, hey, DJ, see, I see you Sunday, yeah. all right? All right, man. Uh, right, thanks fam. for having me on, man. Shout yeah. out to Appreciate the Nine Empire, man. I'll see y'all. All right, be looking for you. And all Jose right. Mendez, hey, hey, Alexander and Hodge, Hodgos, Hodge, their brothers, is that is that a typo? Is that name spelled Hodgeost? Hodge, maybe Hodge. Uh, oh, I can't. I, mean, I think it's Hodges. Hodge and O S. Okay, I'll, I'll figure this one out. I, get, I gotta see you talk about Jose. Ah. Uh, Horatio Flores, and hey, you're forgetting about Solomon T. <laughs> Solomon. I mean, you know, Horatio. I can't wait. To do those Solomon yell. If Solomon comes around this year finally, he says, What are we doing? Uh, what are we going to do if we get Bosa? You know, what? I mean, that's not going to have anything to do with Solomon. Solomon was never supposed to be on the outside anywhere. So, you know, Solomon can go back to what he does uh, best and he's going to be an interior guy. Uh, you, know, you know, Solomon, as a matter of fact, what we do know about Solomon, he doesn't have any problem with you not getting any snaps if you ain't getting nothing done. He'll rotate everybody but Solomon. And then, of course, next year we'll be looking to get rid of Solomon. Or maybe even uh, at the trade deadline, midseason trade deadline. Solomon has got to come around. When you're a first-round pick, the patience is going to be a little shorter. So we'll see. I, I wish him well because I, I don't, I don't want to see anything bad happen to Solomon. Hey, hey, Griffin! Griffin, Griffin, Griffin. <laughs> Griffin, where you at, man? <sighs> oh, my God. And, hey, Gucci, 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 boy. So we're getting both or, or Allen. And not, not, let me just get that on top here. I can't read past Okay, we're well, focused on trying to get on the phone, so I got to. So I got to. I guess I got to fill space now. Anyway, fam, you know what? I, I got to tell you right now what I was saying about earlier, as far as uh, JT. Hey, JT. Oh, what's up, Rombo? <laughs> JT, man, I, I tell you, it's now. 
it's that time, JT, where you got to pick a side as who would pick it up in the first round so everybody could break out arguing. <laughs> I love this part, man, because I'm, I'm confused. I ain't paid made up my mind. I want Bosa and, uh, in the first round. I don't know what they're going to do, though. I'm really a little confused as to what they should do. I hope they do, but I wonder what they're going to do. The 49ers are, man, those are some unpredictable dudes up there in that front office, JT. What are you thinking? You know, Rombo, they are unpredictable. You, you know, they, you know, they're hard to figure out. It's always mm-hmm. been like that for a long time. You, you know, it really, ha- it really has. Yeah. I mean, those, um, those, those picks, man. <sighs> you know, I, I, I'm with you with the Nick Boza. Mm. I think uh, we need to, we need to, we need to go after him. We need to go get Nick Boza. If he's available right there at number two, we need to swoop him. Mm. But JT, how do you feel about our safeties? See, because I, we got the coach, we got the quarterback, we got the edge. They say the formula is coach, quarterback, edge, safety. Do you, how do you feel about Jimmy Ward, DJ Reed, Adrian Colbert, possibly Tavares Moore could go back to that's his natural position as well. Do we have that position that we should feel confident? That we got it covered? <laughs> or no, you no, right. I just don't know what they're gonna do. But you can't bring a kid in and expect him to come in and dominate either. Cause there's only a few. Uh what's that guy kid that went over to New Orleans in the first round? Lattimore? There's not a lot of Lattimores every year. Man. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Narambo. I, like I was trying to tell you yesterday, uh, I want to go get that uh, safety from uh, Washington, uh, Taylor Rapp. Oh, okay. You think he's? Re- you, do you think he'd come in and play the pro set right off? Oh, right off the top, on day one. I have to look up Taylor Rapp. Boy, everybody's talking about Taylor Rapp. I gotta, I gotta go check him out. That guy right there, Kim. I'm, if, I'm not the only one. I'm, I heard people uh, talking about him on here. No, several times. Every day, in fact, somebody says something about Taylor Rapp, and I've just not had a chance to look at him yet, but I will, uh, you know, because I'm going I like, down through. I like yeah. Adderley. Adderley or Taylor Rapp. Either one of those two guys. I think even Lee gave him good votes, and, and Lee right. likes Nasser Adderley. So, yeah. JT? He's, I mean, yeah, JT may have a connection problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Jay. I'm listening. We're listening. Can you, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. It's oh, a little okay. broken up, though. Uh, yeah. Uh, look, Adderley. That that guy's a beast. Mm. Well. But yeah. Um, JT? Uh, I think as far as if we don't go, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, no, yeah, go ahead. I can, can hear you, you now. Me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. Uh, yeah, I think uh, if we don't get Boza, like this other caller was saying, we don't we don't need to fill many holes. We don't need to go after. We don't need to trade back or anything to get acquire more picks. I think uh, I think we're cool where we're, we're at. We don't need to pick up no more. We just gotta fill in a few more holes, and that's it. You know. And with quality picks, you're not going to get the best there is by trading down. You might be able to do that trading up, but I don't know about trading down. So, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you know, I think uh, I think we need to stay pat. But I, I like to go get Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa on one side, D Ford on the other. <laughs> what a and, package. You know, and like you said earlier. <laughs> it's DeForest no Buckner, in the Buckner in the middle. DeForest Buckner in the middle. With Tavarius Street. Hey, imagine Tavarius Street becoming a beast. I mean, Poof. like, <sighs> like to the same expectation to what Quillen Quinn and Williams is supposed to be. Can you imagine? Well, the dude's strong. I mean, that's why Bradley Chubb had such a good year. That was Catavius causing all that trouble in the middle. So you go ahead and put Catavius next to DeForest Buckner. You put Nick or whoever on the other side between the two, uh, 
D Ford. I, I ought to keep D Ford right away because I got a feeling Nick's got the skill sets. He could probably make that switch. Have hey, both coming off the edge. Big in Leo, DeForest ta- at the at the tackle. Both tackles. DeForest and Catavius. <laughs> Go ahead, try to stop that, clowns. Yes, somebody's gonna get through. Hey, I actually want to see somebody get the ball off to throw the ball in the secondary. I really want to see it. Have Boy, somebody sitting in his lap seconds after that ball is snapped. <laughs> you ain't stopping all four of them dudes. Man. Hey, hey opposing defenses, like uh, you and McCarver was saying that one on that one show, you guys can forget about it. Yeah. And, and, and about please it. make the mistake of running a uh, – have your receivers run a deep route. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that way, Jason Barrett or Richard Sherman can just go over there and, and – and, and, and just go, go pick There's no need to do anything but sit. Richard Sherman and Varek could sit down and watch the receiver <laughs> sprinting downfield. Y'all, hey, y'all go ahead. We'll wait, we'll, we'll wait for you here. Because if you think your quarterback, <laughs> hey, you better call somebody for your quarterback. Hey. Because you know yeah. what? I can just see it now. I, that's, that's, that's death. That's too much force and speed coming at you at the same time. Way hey. too much. That is a hey. scary combo. Oh. I am so, I'm so. I'm looking forward to watching the defense, really, more than the offense. It could be exciting. I want to see the it's it's going to be a good dance. It's going to be yeah. a hell of a dance. And, and I didn't even mention Fred Warner and Quan Alexander standing behind him. Hey, hey, hey JT, we, we got to go, though, fam. I mean, I'd say, well, I'll see you Sunday, all right? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds crazy, huh? Uh, all right, Robo. All right, JT. All right. Have a great night. Right. Night uh, Empire. Yeah. Uh oh. Are we going back? Is Griffin ready? Oh, no, no. It's all the way from Germany. My name is Luca. I live up on the second floor. Hey, 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 Luca. 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 Luca, where are you? Come to the phone. You, you know, you can tell me to stop anytime. I don't say anything on this. I'll stop. <laughs> but it was Luca and Griffin. Griffin, you there, Griffin? Hello. And Rice Balls 801A just trade down again for ISU wide receiver Butler. You, you, you know, I really can't wait to see where Hakeem goes. Okay, we're going for Gr- – hey, Griffin, are you there, Griffin? All right. Let us go ahead and shout him in on in here. <sighs> Let's get double pumped up for the rod, man, because you know he ain't sitting all the way out to Atlanta. <sighs> Night <Niners! laughs> Come on in here, Rod. Give us a red and gold gospel. What's going on? Hey, you know, Rod, man. It's after the aftermath, man. It's, you know, the smoke is still flying. You know, you know how the barbecue is over and the, and the briquettes, a couple of them still glowing. Put some more meat on there. If right. put, put a small hamburger on there. But now we're looking at it like they already did pretty much what they're going to do. There may be some other little signings. Brought back some old, some of the guys. But you know what's really scary? Some You know how detectives in, amongst us do talk about, you know, they, they resign uh, most of it, man. I don't know, man. It may be the Brady may get traded, and we may have a problem with Jerick McKinnon. <laughs> Yo, people kill me, boy. Hey, Rod, what are you, Rod, are you feeling that? Or what are you feeling? Hey, man, all you got to do is go back to the tapes of the old. I used, I, I've been telling you cats for the longest, man. Look <laughs> Jerick McKinnon contract is not one of those contracts that is going to be so lucrative that yeah. he's going to just be able to max out yeah he's already got all his guaranteed money so you know it's it's i mean he could be gone at any time they don't and pick the it up April? He has a two weeks you One know week, the fact two. that he hasn't stepped on the field yet it, it 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 doesn't look as good for him we're not getting rid of Breedle. that's not gonna happen i know we're not getting rid of Breedle. i don't want to get rid of mckinnon either i tevin you know what i got a feeling the 49ers picked up tevin just in case Jerry ain't ready, but I don't think they can get rid of him. I can't imagine that. Kyle worked too hard on that playbook. 
He had it all set up and ready to go. But we'll see. Now don't don't count your chickens before they hatch. I know. Bottom that, line is been around hungry. Yeah. And <laughs> he's seen so Kevin Coleman still got fresh legs. Yep. So and knows everything Kyle's cooking. Know. Yeah. He does, and he um, you know, he does a tremendous job with reading the holes of that zone scheme. So that's the thing about the running backs in this type of system here. Mm-hmm. You have to have a vision, man. And know where you're going. If you don't, if you don't have that vision, it's not going to open up for you. Ask Carlos mm-hmm. Hyde. <laughs> I was, you know, I, I, Rod, I don't like to pick on Carlos. I feel sorry for him. But I was getting ready. I was just thinking about him as, a, as the bad example that you're talking about. <laughs> but, hey, all right, Rod. I, I, Carlos Hyde fans, we're just playing, all right? But Carlos did have a knack for not being able to hit the right seam. Go ahead, Rod, go ahead, man. Right. Uh. I mean, you look, he got a chance to rejuvenate his career. He over there with Andy Reid now. So, I heard about know, that. Kudos to him. You know, I, I don't dislike Carlos Hyde. I don't because, either. Because, you know, when he, he did lose the weight, to try to show the effort that he can um, try to be a part of the, the, mm. the, 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 the system that the team trying. trying to play. Yeah. He's trying. And he, did, he didn't complain. He didn't whine. You remember that guy we had from the Giants that came and Harbaugh just sat his ass down, Brandon Jacobs. Yeah, and he, he Brandon's still mad about that. Uh, what I read a little article about him last year. He's still mad at Harbaugh. <laughs> Damn, Brandon, get up, man! Stop. You ain't got to be mad now. So yeah, but yeah, but I I, I, I agree. I know what you're talking about though. But switching it up, Mumbo. Let me let me um throw something into the mix, and if I'm if I'm incorrect on this, please by all means correct me. All right. But I've been hearing a lot of people about D Ford being the, that Leo guy. I don't see him being the Leo guy unless he's going to be like Leo guy in the nickel. Where you go? I'm saying I'm. He, wouldn't he play more like? Wouldn't he be the same? Because he, you look at his size. Uh. In this scheme, though, is is a Sam really the Sam's got to be in coverage a lot, don't he? I guess so. Yeah, I guess that, so. Yeah. I just I, I just figured that they wouldn't want him to the the, the line up, you know, put his hands down for four. I mean, for three downs. See, that worries me too. Uh-huh. See, I I he looks like when he's sitting up there in an interview. I'm I I guess he knows he ain't gonna be able to. He's not. Standing up is not an advantage because the offensive line has advantage if he does it that close in. Uh, I don't know. Right. I guess he's played with his hand in dirt before. I Because I thought he's an OLB, it'll be, it'll too. Be. So, I don't know. It's interesting. You know, he, he went to Auburn, so when he was in Auburn, he, he was very versatile. But, you know, from switching to the pro ranks, his strength hasn't been standing up. Yeah. Even though he did use to stay some in Kansas City. Uh, it'll be interesting to see though. I'm just I'm curious on that aspect of it. I am too. And then you and um the caller, previous caller talked about Kentavia Streets. Man, I forgot all about Street, man. Boy. So That's why I, I can't year? wait to see how he's feeling. Is he ready to go? What what's the word on his There's rehabilitation? No- I keep looking. There's no conversation on Contavious, his condition. They rarely discuss current conditions of players because I guess they don't want any uh, other league personnel to be able to pick up on what's going on. But you'll never hear about Jarek. You'll never hear about Contavious. And I know as sure as hell ain't going to hear a lot about Quan. So, you know, Quan gave it away the other day. He just says he'll take it. I'm going to take it a day at a time, you know. So I'm not sure what. Is going on with some of these guys that are getting over their injuries. We've seen last year. We've seen uh, Marcel Harris came back in a, a bat out of hell. So whatever program they had him on, I want Verrett to be on because I think they had the same injury. Oh man, and that's another thing. That Verrett guy, man, if he can come back healthy, Ooh. wow. See, those are that's kind of gambles really, really, I don't mind. And I, I, that's going to help our secondary out in so many ways. Tremendously, Whew. he could be more flexible. Mm-hmm. And I'm hoping to help come back and pick up where he left off at the end of the season because towards the end, it's like he started to get it back together. 
Oz, you know I, I, you're seeing it too, okay? Because I keep thinking, what am I seeing things? Like nobody else sees that the Kellogg's improving. Uh, yeah. But Rod, we're going to go. And uh, I'll be looking for you Sunday. All right. Please believe I'll be there, baby. All right. Tell them who we are. Yeah. Nina! Rod. <laughs> Have a good 49 a night, Rambo. I'm out of here, baby. You do, Rod. Red and gold dreams to your fam. And, and Russo says, I just heard that, that Bortles is, is visiting the Rams. <laughs> and Tannehill will be in tomorrow. <laughs> it's a quarterback boneyard. L.A. Because I tell you what, boy, if... Our boy freezes up in the headlights again next year. That was kind of scary. Poor Rams. Hey, Will. And, oh, here's a man to talk to about the Rams. Will, Bortles is in your neighborhood, man. <laughs> the Rams the, the Ram just keep getting worse and worse. Yeah. They, now they sign a 34-year-old hey, face, and now they're getting Blake Bortles. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. Well. Will, what are you thinking, man? Here we are going over the – before everybody takes a – I wonder if the 49ers are going to take a break even Saturday. Probably not, but we'll see. What do you think? I don't know. I, I, I think the 49ers got some of their sleeves since they uh, let, let uh, Marsh go because they got $5.1 million back. Uh, right. That must have been for they, a reason, they too. Be, how, how, much, how much cap they got left? Forty six. Yeah, somewhere in that. So oh, that would probably. that would that would elevate him. To, hey, were they only at forty some? So with that, are you talking about with or without Cassius's money? Uh, without before Cassius five point one. Yeah, so you say forty six. So that so this crossed back over into fifty, right? Yeah, and then, I mean, and they're gonna do something with that. Yeah, but they still yeah, gotta they, worry about yeah, DeForest Buckner. But yeah, yeah, but yeah, uh, but yeah, man. Let me tell y'all something, man, about the, about the running back thing, dog. Man, ain't nobody going nowhere. You know? I'm telling you, man, Cal, Cal got these boys in packages, man. They're going to have these, they're going to have most third, McKinney, they're going to be in packages, man. You're going to have games where McKinney going to show out. You're going to have games where Breeder going to show out. You're going to have games with, when uh, Coleman show out, and you're going to have games with most to show out. <laughs> every, every, every last one, I'm going to have a game. Wouldn't that be they, special? I'm just telling y'all right now. I don't see them letting go of McKinnon, man. They gave McKinnon a four year deal and they only gave Tim Coleman a two year. So why would you let go of McKinnon when you get hey, when they get Coleman a two year? Good point. And don't somebody besides you and me want to see what McKinnon looks like out there? People talk about getting rid of McKinnon right. like he can't play. I mean, come on. I want to see what he looks like. We never, yeah. We never get to we never got to saw him play. You know, hurt himself before even got yeah, hurt before the preseason, even the preseason starts. So, yeah. I mean, Kyle, Kyle got to see, we all got to see how he do. So, you know, why why would you do that? That's a waste right. of money. Why would you get a man the guaranteed money? He got it now. He got the money, yeah. and you throw him away like that. He ain't yeah. played in the 49 system yet. That Come on, man. No y'all got to have some common sense. Hmm. Have common sense, man. The man ain't going nowhere. Tevin Coleman signed a two-year deal. Ain't no way you're going to get rid of McKinney. He mm. a, and he got a four-year deal. Mm-hmm. Don't make no sense. So they ain't going. They ain't, ain't nobody going nowhere. Breeder gonna stay too. Them, all them guys gonna have games where they are gonna show out. They are gonna take turns. I'm telling you right now. So this, that's the does, end of that. Because will does Nelson impress you to the point you want to give up Breeder? I don't. I don't see where Nelson is. Uh, I mean, he ain't raising all that much hell in Philly. <laughs> well, the, man, the Niners, the Niners just before now just won't. They they want a, a deep running back because, core because last year. It was McKinnon went out, and then Breida started having problems. Then uh, most of hurt his arm, so you Bro- know they want to, you know they, yeah, broke his arm. So you know they want they want four guys, you know they want four guys because you know you don't want to be, you know Breida getting hurt again, McKinnon getting hurt again, but all that crap. But not going wood, but you know they don't want to be short. So if somebody get hurt, you still got a a deep roster in the running back position. But but it, it, it I mean you know they ain't going over. They ain't going nowhere. Um, mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, man, that, man, look. That's free, that, that strong safety position, man. Hey, look, Tart. Hey, Tart, man. 
<laughs> Just don't give it up to Marcel, man. Marcel getting that job. I'm trying to tell y'all right now. Marcel, Marcel plays that position better than Tark because Marcel is, is smarter so than quick. that dude. I mean, it's it's like having another linebacker out there. I mean, that dude, I, he moves. He's all in the ball. Between him, Quan, and Fred, there will be no activity across the middle of the field. I do like him. Kwasi used to take the wrong angle half the time. He'd be missing some tackles. You can't believe he missed. He's a good football player. But if I got Kwasi somewhere, I'm putting him over the top to compete for that area. Yeah, Mar- and Marcel, got a, he got a better IQ than Tar. Marcel, Marcel can see the offense move on the field and he and he knows what he knows right to the area to play. He, yeah. he does he doesn't let yeah, he doesn't let formations go fool you know, you know, uh fool him. Like you know, it's like it's, it's like a nerd. A nerd like he knows he knows the problem. He knows the, the problem before he might give him the equation. Like he, he gets it. Like yeah. he just clicks in his head. He it's he just reacts, you know. Does. You so, don't read yeah, offensive so he, formation. You can actually figure them things out. So Luke Keekley is a master of that. Remember that year he kept picking Hoyer off? He didn't move. He knew right what Hoyer was going to do. Boom! I said, look, look at that. Yeah, so. See, that's what you get when you get dudes who know how to read off the offense, man. God. Yeah. Threw yeah. it right to him. But, uh, so yeah, man. And, uh, and I, and I, I still, I still want Trey Boston for that, for that free safety. I want Trey Boston. Trey Boston ain't got a sign yet. And a dude can ball from Arizona. I want Trey Boston. I mean, I, I know y'all like Col- Colbert and all that, but I like Trey Boston, man. Trey I Boston go hard, man. I just don't understand yeah, why yeah, people treat you. Trey Boston so yeah. bad. I mean, Boston can't get no money from Arizona. They insulted him with what they pay him. I think Trey Boston gets a million dollars. Man, if they get man, four nine get Trey Boston right now, it's it's, it's a wrap. Anyway. Four nine gonna have, I believe, I believe they might be the fifth ranked or the sixth ranked defense in the league. <laughs> Ooh, if everybody's so. healthy, that's not far fetched. Will we got we got to stop? Although I'm, I'm gonna tell you what, man. Let's see you Sunday, huh? Let's see what helps happens uh, next. Man. Hey, hey, Rambo, you heard hmm. about Tyree Hill? Tyree, it, sa- it says here Tyree Hill is under investigation for breaking his three year old's arm on the 15th of this month in college. He punched his girlfriend in the face while she was pregnant. You know, they said something about this. A uh, last year, and they didn't move on it, and now everybody's getting investigated for things they've Man, done. Okay, this is interesting. Are they gonna suspend hey, him? I got a, go ahead. I don't, I don't know, but I got a better one for you. Which one? You know the guy. You know the guy. Uh, you know the little. I, I guess Sean McVay backup. He, he little backup guy. You know when Sean McVay on the field, he got this guy that always pulls him back out of the sideline. I guess he's like the the sideline coach or something like that. Yeah, yeah. He uh with the Rams. He he he's under investigation for, for sexual battery. <laughs> All these cases being called up. It's kind of fun. I wonder if somebody probably coming out of Forty Nineers front office probably called, uh we got something you might want to know about. <laughs> we gotta go, Will. <laughs> we gotta stop All gossiping. Right. <laughs> I'll, see, <laughs> I'll see you Sunday. <laughs> All right, man. Not the Empire, man. You already know what it is, man. Uh, Fuck Rudy. The Rams, you know. <laughs> Super Bowl and they broke. Rams still, uh, Raiders still ain't going to be here. Rams got a guy out here that, that want to that wanna take the Punani. That's it. That's it. Will's got to turn everybody. But yeah, man. <laughs> Have a good night, Will. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right, God. Rumble. All right, fam. <laughs> Oh God! And you know, while we're laughing and joking about these people, we got to. You know what scares me? And this is why Lynch and Shannon insist on good character people. We don't want to hear about no investigations. We're in Game Eight. The season's going great, and they come in. And, uh, we uh, got some news for you, Niners. Uh, Quan is Alexander. We have got some things that we're gonna have to investigate with him further. You have to shut him down for the rest of the season. What? Hey. Hey, Griffin! Griffin? Griffin? Uh, and we go back to, hey, Luca! Hey, 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 hey Luca! It's kind of early in the morning in Germany. I, I think last time Luca called, it was really early in the morning. So I figured Luca got up and he went to the kitchen, had a cup of coffee. Coffee wasn't strong enough. As he sat there waiting to get in, Sits back on the sofa, 
weights, and all of a sudden, Hey, hey, Daryl Green, are you sick? Uh, Daryl! Hey, how you doing, Romo? Daryl, man, I tell you, I don't know if I could be any better right now. I got so much anticipation. I need a couple of guys to heal up. I need to know Katavia Street is, is feeling fine. I can't wait till Quan Alexander says, I'm ready to rumble! You know, and, 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 I, oh, yeah, I, I got, I, yeah, other than yeah. that, I'm ready. I'm saying, so, yeah, man, I was. I can't even call because I was so I was so happy, man. I heard the news and all that. I was like, man. And don't let Jason man, Verrett be good, be good to go. Uh, Daryl, do you realize if oh, Jason yeah. Verrett is good to go, look out for the 49ers? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to be dangerous, man. The quarterback's going to be scared. Mm. I wish we I wish we, I wish we, I wish we were playing them, um, them cowgirls. I know, right? This year. We got uh, probably next year because uh, we, usually we don't go three years without playing the Cowboys. Definitely not going four. Hey, yeah, man. So, so yeah, I heard the news about Frank, Frank, Frankie, want to come back? You know, Frank Gore? when he quit. Frank Gore? Yeah, when he yeah when he quit. He oh he yeah, you know, as a minor. Frank is. He I, told man, us I'm, that years ago when he left. He ain't playing. Ah. Yeah, man, that was, that was some good news. And Jed, you're yeah, not let everybody really... say nothing. If Frank wants to come back, all he's got to do is call Jed. He is back. Oh, yeah, man. That would be great. Mm-hmm. Man, so. Woo! I gotta, I, you know, I got I to gotta give me some judges now. Uh-oh. Oh, they going to be fruit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I'm ready, man. Daryl, did, did so you ever buy. What's the news going on? Well, did you ever buy uh, Ruben Foster's jersey, number 56? Oh, who's going to wear that? Did, did, no, I'm just saying. Did Did you ever buy it? <laughs> yeah, I was wanted to buy one of them. No, no, it's okay. So I did it. too. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Because Quan is threatening to don the 56. So what you do is just get you a crayon okay. and color out the back and write Quan on the back. <laughs> and just wear that. Wear oh, that 56. Wear it. Because I am not happy. That's I my can't. favorite. One of my favorite jerseys. But Daryl, yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't wait. I'm gonna be out there for the count when yeah. they open. Oh, yeah, I well, Daryl, okay, so, <laughs> so Daryl, you, 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 you're, you're, uh, you, you got Mostert back, uh, Zilch is back. Oh yeah, Mostert, I, I, I love that Marshall. song. Yeah, we got Mostert back. You know, hey, so you Marshall's think they gonna run with uh, four running backs or? See, that's they keep asking Kyle, and Kyle keeps saying, "Yeah, no, I, I got no problem." Kyle, you gonna suit up three running backs in one day? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, and most oh, of can be man. seen you as know, a that's gonna be, that's yeah. gonna be dangerous. <laughs> Brady, <laughs> McKinnon, yeah, Coleman, yeah, keep, yeah, man. So you, uh, you can't wait for the uh, little, 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 little Seahawks and all that. I mean, Looking we, forward we to it. Ass, we, you know what I mean? And the Rams. Oh. Remember, because the Rams and Seahawks yeah, I can't beat wait us that. to death yeah. last year, right? So we owe them. You know, yeah. but I want to see the score ran up on them too, if we get a chance. Oh yeah, I can't wait for that. Man. man, so yeah, I, I, yeah, they keep talking about you know the Cardinals. You know they, they you know they getting getting that quarterback. It's I don't know of, how they I would. It's a lot of teams. Yeah, I, a lot of teams want. It's a lot of teams want the quarterback they got now. Man. Unless somebody just yeah. Unless unless that's what they're doing, trying to get somebody to trade up. But otherwise, that dude fits the system that they're going to run, and Rosen does it. Yeah. So why would you why would you do anything else but that? We'll see. They could be jiving. You think, you think, think we're so. going to trade down? Or we're going to keep that number two? I I need a few more weeks on this. You know what? Yesterday I thought we were going to trade down. I really did. Because I thought about the system we're going to be running and how they're going to go and do. We got – you got D Ford over there now. And what if we did pick up Allen? If we picked up Allen, you could put Allen at the Sam. If something happens to D, you could move him up to the edge. Allen's versatility would actually make sense, honestly. Nick, yeah. is, is Nick is a dude hand in the dirt. Quarterback is dead meat unless y'all stop me. And that's what's going to be on every snap. <sighs> yeah, it, it's, it's kind of hard because if we don't get him, ooh, he goes somewhere else. He might just blow up. Uh, oh, uh, Nick? No, Nick's going to be fine wherever yeah, he Nick. goes. Yeah, no, Nick is yeah, talented. People be trying to make you – know, people like – 
Allen are trying to say that Nick ain't this, Nick ain't that, Nick ain't this. Nick is all of that in a bag of chips. There's no doubt about it. You can't deny his talent. Allen's good, too, though. But as far as technicians go, yeah. it's Nick for what we do in oh, a 4-3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's only going to be a base package, though. So, but, yeah, did you hear any kind of rumor, like a rumor going on? And I guess uh, the Eagles? I don't know we. And, and Nelson Aldo, Aguilar. Kind of trade? Yeah, Nelson Aguilar and Matt Brader's name came up oh, in the trade, okay. uh, which kind of bothers me. Uh, I'm hoping they're not going to do that. I like, you know, Matty B, I, I really felt so sorry for him last year. He was the best offensive weapon we had, not named George Kittle. Uh, every time he gave him the ball, Matty B was, was doing numbers on people. So oh, yeah. I want to see him come back with a full-strength team. I want to see him come back fully healthy. I want to I see him with the opportunity to take it to the next level. That dude can play. Man. Oh, yeah, he can, yeah. Man, I can't wait, though. Whew. Oh, so, yeah, I'm going to let y'all let the wife know you say hey. Yes, please. And Cowboys all the yeah. all the way down to the to the ninth. <laughs> Let's see, make the Cowboys yeah. at number right. thirty one. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, all right. Let me get let me get that special holler. Yeah, and uh, this is from a boy Daryl out in Arizona. All right, <laughs> yeah, nine for five. Thank Have you, Ron. Have a blessed day. Hey, you too. All uh, right, you take care. All right. All right, fam. And we go to, hey, is that Dade County, North Dade, Florida? Where, isn't that where H came from? You remember CSI, right? H with his famous one-liners. <laughs> Seven What's up, Rombo? Hey, who is this? This is Blake, man. Blake. Hey, Blake. Blake, come on in, man. From That's Miami. Awesome 49ers, man. You in Miami? I knew oh. it. Miami Dade County. Hey, Blake, what's going on, man? I mean, uh, you seen some little more trimmings going on today. You got Mostert re-signed for a three-year deal, and he was out looking for you know somebody else to pick him up. He came on back because he wanted to stay with the 49ers. Forty Nine says, "Glad to see you back with that kind of enthusiasm. We'll give you a three-year deal." And Mark Ziocha went off to Buffalo, came running back. Please, God, please help anything. Yeah. Just don't let, don't make me do it. And um, <laughs> Cassius Mars is gone. So everybody's speculating, that, ooh, Cassius Mars is gone? What does that mean? That means we'll get another edge rusher? Damn Skippy. Blake, what do you think, though? I don't know, man. In the beginning of the free agency, I was happy. But mm. when I just think about all the moves that they made, they made a lot of 50-50 moves. <laughs> if you think about it, Rombo. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm like, the, the picks are good. From Alexander to D, but I just look at them picks because people don't understand. D D been hurt like two years ago, and I, and then Alexander been hurt. Don't get me Last wrong, year. they pretty good, awesome players, but like mm. it's kind of skeptical picks, you know. I, I look at it like they really both of them pro bowlers. They got really good potential, especially D with thirteen sacks this year. Mm. But I look at it like I look at John Lynch like they motive, like they taking risks. You know, they taking risks instead of like they pay they pay D uh, um a little bit less than the guy from the Ravens. Um what's his name? The the pass the pass Mosley. rusher from the Ravens. Uh, it was no, not no the pass rusher. Oh pass rusher. He went rusher. to the Jets. The, the pass rusher that went to the Jets from the Ravens. What's his name? When we were talking about, about Z- we should pick him up. Zadarius? Yeah, Ladarius. He um, um D only got a little bit less than him, and but I look at it I, like I'm having trouble. I didn't know Zadarius. I forget his last name. I didn't know Zadarius was getting paid more than D, which is kind of comical. Zadarius yeah, is not um, better than four. I think he's getting like seventeen. <laughs> I think he's getting yeah. seventeen million. But if See, you look at it, we is. got the second best pass rusher that was that was available. We got like the second best. Who was who was the, who was the best pa- who was the best pass rusher available? You think? I, well, they were saying that the guy from um, um, the Ravens, we would just talk about it. It was like they ranked him number one free agent pass rusher. We didn't yeah. get him, but then we got D4. You know, we didn't get D4, CJ yeah. Mosley, but then we got Alexander. Yeah. You, you, here's the thing, so though. It's like, for, for what the 49ers need, D4 
was the guy that forced all, this, all the uh, turnovers last year. We need somebody who's going to be very disruptive and very conscious of, of getting that ball out of that for whoever's hands. So he, that's the thing by, about him. And he, he came up with the double-digit sacks. We basically needed somebody to come off the edge that his what he pretty much provides. It's about making sure that Buckner's not double-teamed. If you do double-double-team Buckner, then D4 is definitely going to clean that up, you know? Zadarius, I don't yeah. know if he's better than D Ford though. They rank Zadarius ahead of D Ford. That's interesting. Yeah, as far as as far as in the free Edge. agency, you know who yeah. they was who they was well, um saying who's okay. um the top. Okay, listen, remember D Ford is not was not a free agent. We traded for him, so maybe that's what oh they yeah, meant. that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's Zedarius probably was, why. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. I'm just kind of skeptical. I'm happy about the picks, but I'm kind of skeptical because they all like. They're all like taking a chance picks, you know. Like I, hopefully, D, Ale- D was Alexander hurt. come back with the ACL. Yeah, D, been hurt. D, D, D was hurt ago. like two years ago. No, that's you can get over that. You can get over that. If, if a guy got hurt two years ago, and he's fine now. His chances of getting hurt again are just like anybody else's. I mean, nothing more than anybody else. Uh, if I he like got hurt last Rhett year, pick, though, though, yeah, that means he's accident prone. And uh, two years without an injury, you can actually feel good about that. Yeah. But you, you understand what I'm saying? It's like they're taking gambles. They're taking gambles in, well, instead of like on two players. Like, like sure, sure picks, you know? There's, yeah. But there's no really sure pick in the NFL. Uh, D, I wouldn't consider a, 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 a risk. If it was two years ago since last time. Again. Jason Verrett is a big risk. I mean, a huge risk. Verrett has played yeah, a handful yeah. of games the entire time he's been in the NFL. He, I would consider, but, uh, and also, Alexander, to a, to a degree, uh, he plays the way he plays. He could be a risk. But maybe, you, you know, you, you, as I say, every player in the NFL has got to be at risk. So, Not there? Uh, okay, Mr. Bobby. Blake! Yeah, Blake, you know what? <laughs> the system cuts you off. Blake, see if you can get back in here. Uh, okay, I still cut off. Yeah, sometimes our system goes nuts on us like that. We it's out of control. Blake, that wasn't me. It was I don't know what's going on with that, but it's it. Big Al. What's up, Rombo? Al man, just sitting back here and and, and, and looking into the future. What what are you thinking tonight? Oh man, I, let me tell you something. I've been trying to call you every night. This has been too long. The wait been too long. I said, hey, "Yeah, we go." Four has got a lot of enthusiasm behind it. But everybody wants to talk about him now. You know, yeah. was hey, that a year we went two hey, and something? No, no dis- Nobody called. No disrespect to the last caller, but he was driving me crazy, man. Uh, I come <laughs> with his with his, his with his with his take on things, man. I know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know he. D Ford hurt two years ago. Yeah, you know, if a guy goes two years in the NFL without getting hurt, I think he's doing okay though. No, lot of risk there. Yeah, I mean, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you clearly. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, D Ford, he, that dude ain't been hurt for a while. He's, yeah. He, I mean, you know, I'm a, I'm not gonna talk about no negatives. The only negative, I, I wish we could have got. Uh, uh, not o, not OBJ. That was that wasn't that wasn't going to happen. Uh, we, we 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 don't have the same situation like the Browns. They, they could afford to do that, and they they have uh, more. They don't have as many holes as we had. Uh, Last I checked, I don't see eight. any holes on the Browns. Right, that is crazy. Look at every position, man. No, they, they don't, don't have no holes, so they can, they can do what you like. You say they don't have any needs. They can add OBJ. Yeah. Go ahead, yeah. Oh yeah. man! Yeah, I'm not really sold. I'm not ready to crown Baker Mayfield yet. Uh, but well, yeah, well, he's still him, a test. They, they, yeah, they ready to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but do, do we realize we we got a pass rusher now, like mm-hmm. a, a, like one of the top elite dudes in the league. Like I don't know, if, I don't know, and and we got a franchise quarterback. Yes. Who's had more time? I'm sure he knows that playbook like the back of his hand. He's gonna have oh. plenty of time if he's yes. just leaving them porn stars alone. Yeah, I know. You know? 
I hope he doesn't know so much about the playbook that he gives himself more time to play with the girls. <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> come on now! Don't don't yeah, have him making no. You know how? Because everybody's getting called out now. You notice that? All of a sudden, this dude did this yeah. back last year, and this dude has been caught up in doing in this. What? Really? Oh, yeah. don't call anybody. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, I I want Jimmy just to bring bring the party to the house, man. Yes. Bring the party to the house. You you, you got a contract. You got enough money. You can bring it bring it to the house, man. Yeah, please. But, but um. You know, and you guys are talking about Jason Verrett. Uh, I'm actually really happy for him because uh, he grew up uh, a few blocks away from me up here in Fairfield. So uh, right. his family is friends with my family. So, really? Uh, it's All cool. right. Yeah, yeah. Y'all got plenty yeah, to talk about. Cool to, uh, now. Yeah, Man. yeah. His, his, his brother actually works in the front office for the Raiders. Um, and, uh, I, I see bet his him brother's not happy about this thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I think they're happy to have him and his his fiance and his child, you know, back in the home, Bay Area, you know, yeah. close in the Bay Area, yeah. Um, but uh, your last caller said that, that that's a risk. He's not a risk actually. He only got a one year deal, three point five million. That's low risk, high reward if he yes. stays healthy. Oh, and my. he's a lockdown. When, when he's on the field, he's a shutdown corner. We got Richard Sherman and Jason Barrett. Come on, I man. know, right? You know what I'm saying? I mean, even Verrett yeah. tells you I'm one of the best in the league when I'm healthy. Oh, because he is. <laughs> even he, he is. knows. Uh, Go YouTube when he was shutting down Antonio Brown. I know that's 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 his claim to fame. Everybody's talking about. It. Nobody gets it. And if you if you shut down AB, there ain't nobody in the NFL you can't shut down. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. So I'm happy with it. Um, Quan Alexander. He's better than Ruben Foster, okay? I was He's better thinking than Ruben that. Foster. But, I, you know, I didn't want to jump on that until yep. I see him play. But I've seen his tape. From what I can see on his tape, is way more impressive than Ruben. So, we'll He's see. He's better than Ruben Foster. And you ain't got to worry about him being on the damn floor all the damn time. Every time you look at Ruben, he might be hitting somebody, but he's on the damn floor every damn time. Because, they they, they you know turn the camera over to John Lynch. He's just looking sad, man. Oh, because nobody you know. taught Ruben Ruben. This is NFL. This, you ain't back in LSU. Get your head up out the play. And all of a sudden, how do you get your legs tangled up like you do on every play? You know what? We, did we overrate mm-hmm. Ruben? Ruben Foster like Dwayne Wade, always on the damn ground. So I ain't, I ain't. <laughs> no. Dwayne can't do a layup. You know. He can't do a drive. Are you right? <laughs> 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 yeah. Hey, hey, Rombo, one more thing, man. It's funny we're talking about Ruben. I was on my YouTube at work today, and I was scrolling, and it had the police body cam of when Ruben got arrested in San Jose. Oh. And it, it changed my perspective on it, man. Because I, I gave Ruben the benefit of the doubt, but his attitude with the police and the way he was answering questions, and I, I you know, it really changed. Ruben, Ruben has some. Uh, he got some growing up to do. Let's just put it that way. Well, and yeah. nobody's perfect, but you know uh, he, the way he, that he interacted with the police. He's not. I think he was a little. I don't think he was as innocent as we hoped he would be. <laughs> so, as we wanted to put believe. it that way. We, yeah. 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 So they had to get rid of Ruben. I wish him the best. I, would he go to Washington? Oh. Oh, I thought you were okay, because we're having a problem with our phone system here. Uh, go ahead, about, about him. I'm going to be watching every game Washington play. If Ruben doesn't get suspended, which I don't know that they're going to suspend him. They haven't said anything yet. But I'm going to be watching, man. If Ruben goes out there styling and profiling and looking like an all-pro, I'm going to be mad as hell. I said, so Ruben, you know what? <laughs> if you were to focus and play football in San Francisco, you would still be doing that for us. I, Man, I will not appreciate it. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. And I am happy with Quan Because, like I said, I think Quan might be a better football player, actually. He is. Mark my words. He's a better he's a better linebacker than Ruben Foster. He is. Yeah. And uh, uh, Ruben got to stay away from them hood rats that be going in his see, phone looking at his other girls. So. See, I didn't want to say that because, you know, that the ladies mean, are watching. They're probably getting mad at us for talking like that. But you know what? <laughs> Ruben, no, really. He needs to – you know, there, there's girls out there. They don't have to necessarily be that. But, I mean – there's girls out there that are out there playing, dudes, and Ruben couldn't see that. The, you know the way we grew mm-hmm. up, and you come on, man, you can't tell. Come on, Ruben. Yeah. And twice, yeah. oh, 
I mean, that's, it shows yeah. you a certain level right. of ignorant. That's come on, Ruben. Yeah. Hey, 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 and, and, li- and, and lastly, uh, I, I, I think uh, they're going to make a splash in the draft uh, on the offensive end because they, 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 they did a pretty good job. I, you know, they might get a safety uh, and then obviously uh, Bosa at number two, which I hope they do. But uh, mm. they, might, they might get your boy DK, man. They <laughs> might get DK. <laughs> and I'll be confident about that because, okay, wait, if Kyle wants him, that must mean it's okay. Let's go. Because, you know, I mean, they talk about DK's inability Al, to go Al, in and out of routes. Oh. Well, we talked about that. I don't know if you remember. You talked to a lot of people. But me and you talked about that. I told you when you watch his tape, he's a straight line guy. Yeah. He's big. He's fast. Straight line. But, <sighs> you know, we got Wells Welker and we got uh, oh. uh, Austin. Uh, oh. So, they, they can work with him. Route yeah. running can be taught. We may have, but what you can't teach, yeah. but what you can't teach is a big motherfucker like that with his speed and athleticism. <laughs> I that's God-given. <laughs> if anybody I, I, can work with him, Kyle Shanahan and 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 Wells and his company, and Miles Austin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I agree. So, but that's all I got, Rombo. I'm glad all I right. got in with you, man. I'm, thanks, I, I, thanks, I'm, I'm excited, out. man. I'm like. I'm excited for what's coming, man. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna make the playoffs this year if if, if health is on our side. So. I, that's a, that's the bottom line right there. So yeah. happy guys. Oh, and last thing, man. Uh, Dante Pettis got to get his ass in the weight room, man. I've been watching him on Instagram. He ain't lifting no weight. He yeah, but, get his ass in the weight room, put about 15 pounds on. No, seriously, and, and and have some meat, Dante, because Dante looks like one of the people. I only eat meat once every month. Oh, Dante, you yeah. gotta get some. Well, do protein shakes. Dante's got to get bigger. He's got to get stronger. He's got to become more durable. You're so right. You know, the trainers that go talk to us, sports science guys are going to say, listen, your diet probably needs to be a little altered, a little here and there. So, you know, hopefully you'll be willing to listen to us. Yep, yep. And, we'll and see. stop lifting. We'll see. But all right, man. Yep. And stop lifting all the 20 right, pound Rambo. weights. Niners, man. All right. Big <laughs> have a good night, fam. All right, you yeah. too, bro. Hey. Yeah, Dante, Dante, I mean, I mean, Oh, I want to apologize. Brian Smith, Keese. Guys, uh, we're using a system. I, we're, we're, my, my production people are sitting over trying to figure out. I don't think we're going to be able to continue. Damn. All right. Listen, I'll make it up to you, though, Sunday. But, boy. But Dante Pettis, I'm really – Dante's got to – Dante, man, you, you, you can't be laying on the ground every play, man. I mean, you, you – we saw – I saw a couple of plays. Dante was hit. It wasn't even a serious hit. He went down and landed on his legs and and rolled around, and that was it for him. He did the Reuben on us. He had to get him go to the tent, and that was pretty much the end of his first half of the season. Now, when you got that much skill, we got to keep him healthy because I swear, I do see a number one type receiver. When you run the routes like Dante Pettis does in your rookie year, that's a sign that you've got something in you. But you ain't got enough food in you. Dante's got to take down more groceries and stop lifting them 245-pound plates and, and, and add some weight, Dante. Come on, man. Dante! Get bigger and stronger. Fam, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to look for you Sunday. Uh-oh, I'm talking about this. Antonio, of course, who's texting and driving? I lost my best friend that way. Please don't do that. Yeah, Antonio, that's, yeah, that's a good point. Don't, I hope people know better than to do that. Uh, D'Angelo Mosey says, both say Allen, both really good, but this guy, Quentin Williams, beats double teams at will all the time. His skill set only comes around every 10 years or so. And D'Angelo, I ain't going to argue with you, man. I, Quentin, Quentin Williams is probably... Uh, Jim Terokil says, if Bosa gets seven sacks the first four games and 17 for the season, uh, you will have a parade. Even if we don't win, if Bosa comes up with that many sacks, that will mean he will be the most primo pick in a long time. Not since Alvin Smith has anybody come up with that many sacks. D4 is saying, no, he ain't going to beat me. If he gets 17, I'm going to get 16. So now you got this thing going on, you know. <laughs> and, of course, DeForest Buckley says, listen, uh, I don't know if y'all know, but this is my team. All right? Y'all just got to add it on. I'm DeForest Buckner. This is my team. All right? Stay out of my way. And then you got Jim Thurl. Kill. Hey, hold on. Coach says we will need that second edge rusher. 
Uh, but after that, we really only need an offensive lineman. Another DB would, would be nice in the third round or the fourth round, a wide receiver in the second round. Maybe. Yeah, I think that covers it. Yeah, yeah, especially for this year. That's enough. That's enough. We're doing all right. Deshaun Page, what's up? Hey, 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 hey. He said, hey look, Brock Coyle was a good blitzer. Uh, Jason Verrett and Marcel Harris can be dominant together. Go Niners. Yeah, it's not like it. Marcel is just scary. He's a crazy man. A ball, man. And, he, and the thing about Marcel Harris is he came in not having had no preseason training or anything. He was just healing up, coming along. And then remember the first week he looked okay, nothing special. Second week he looked a little better. Third week all of a sudden, whoa, now that's the real Marcel. This year he's got a whole offseason to train. And Kwaski's got some competition coming up for him in that box this year. Right. I don't want to see Kwasi get cut, though, because you know 49ers. As soon as they got a youngster that's be- do- kicking ass, they say, we got to let that veteran go. <laughs> uh, Coach says, I-, I think you are coming around to my thinking. We got to uh, gotta go edge and not trade down. Uh, we really don't need more picks right now, just a, a few selective guys at specific positions, and, and we're good. Yeah, Coach, I've always wanted that. I never wanted to trade down. I just thought I was, I was, I was in John, John Lynch's head, and I thought he might do that. But somebody pointed out, Russo pointed out, uh, if you guys look back on what's happened the last two years, John traded down once, and he traded down one position. True. The Solomon Thomas pickup was down one, and we were going to pick up Solomon Thomas anyway. You know, Last year, there was no trade down. And in both years, we traded up back into the first round. So we need to stop worrying about that. I, my bad for even thinking that way. Don Lynch is not trading down. He may trade up in the second round or something like that, but I don't think he's going down. He wants that quality pick, too. Uh, R-E-S-Q-4. D and de Sack Factory need sack and do the running man. Hey, Elias Lopez says, what about Greg Mayer? <laughs> yes, he got because Devin Coleman is going to need his number 26. Uh... You know, I think Greg is still with us. I think they're going, to, they're going to work on him and look at him a little closer. He could get cut in camp, but right now he's going, he's going to be one of, the, one of the 90. What do we have, 100 got 93? Yeah, he's going to be part of the 93-man roster. Kim Busso Butro says, good night and thank you, I'm Kim. No need for thanks, fam. Thanks, so. You're welcome, by the way. And Coach says we picked up Mayo, Resign, Ziocha, Mostert, and still have Exum. So our, our, our special teams is look, still looking real athletic. Lee and the defensive backs playing. Yep, Elijah Lee's in there. We got a lot of a lot athletic guys in there. So I think we improved this year, too. You know, with the, uh, Mostert's got to make it through an entire season, though, because when he gets hurt, our special teams does indeed suffer. That's one of the best gunners in the league, if not the best. When you got that kind of speed, and Mostert's fast. Whoo, he's fast. We're talking about a 4 3 gunner. Man, hit that like will you please. Oh, I love the likes lately. Man. The likes have gotten way up there. Oh, thanks, fam. So please, don't forget to hit me some like. And I can't wait to see a Sunday. We're going to be doing both the GM and, and we'll meet back and see what happens and develops in Santa Clara. And we'll go over that and have a good time with it and start thinking about Quest for Six and all that good stuff. <laughs> fam, you know I love you. Oh!